Oh, here we go, yeah, at the top of the class on the road, hey, and it's time to run it up, yeah, you know, yeah, mashed out, put the pedal to the flow, yeah, on the road, here we go, here we go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Frankie Candles live stream every single weekday right here at 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have you ever told you guys that when I say 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's Mrs. Candle's favorite part, 5.45, 5.45. It's the only consistent thing in our intro, guys. Uh, but what is going on, Candle Mafia? Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your precious Friday time here with the Candle Mafia just to take a look at some boring old charts, some boring old Bitcoin charts. But we are getting some price action right now, guys, as we are getting a little bit of a move to the downside. Shout out to Tyler Durden. I see him popping in the chat saying, hello, friends. And by the way, the word friends should be spelt like Tyler spells it. Let's just all agree on that right now. Uh, it is F-R-E-N-S, right? Who says, oh, hey, what's up, friends? Not a thing. Friends. It's 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 the how the word's supposed to be spelled. But anyway, guys, what is going on? Thank you guys for tuning in. We got an amazing show for you guys tonight. We're taking a look at Bitcoin as it's dumping. And we're going to be taking a look at those altcoins at the end of the stream, guys. And uh, yeah, Bitcoin, uh, obviously, uh, a little bit of a crazy scam wick to the upside this morning. And then I started talking to other people like, oh, my God, did you see that scam week? And they're like, what are you talking about? And then it, it seems that it really only popped up on the Bitstamp chart uh, for the most part. It was a crazy scam week. I'll show it to you guys in a minute. But, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of uh, volatility this morning, uh, or I guess I talked about it on my on my uh, morning market update, uh, but yeah, we got that scam week to the upside, and now we are moving back to the bottom of our local range, which was kind of expected. If you guys watch the morning market up, uh, morning market update, uh, you will know that the technicals were pointing towards a rejection from these levels. Uh, not really anything screaming for a breakout. Uh, so we were looking for a little bit of a rejection down, which it does look like we may get it here. And we were looking at some of those bearish signals, not only in the morning market update, but also yesterday. Uh, I was basically saying like, hey guys, 
You want to be careful. Sometimes when you're in a strong uptrend like this, you can just blast right through. However, the technicals are calling for more downside before we get another move up. And here we are. Bitcoin getting a little bit of a pullback. Now, how big is it going to be? Are we just coming down to our local range? Because if you zoom out, it actually doesn't look like that big of a move. Uh, but... Is this the start of something bigger? As you guys know, we do have some bearish signs on those medium time frames, and I'm not calling for a giant move down to zero. Uh, <laughs> shout out to uh, Cisco Kid. Uh, I see you. He says, let's go. Uh, but, uh, you know, I am not really calling for, like, an absolute nuke to zero, but I am calling. It does. It did look, right? The writing was on the wall. It looked like it was way more likely for a pullback before another leg up, so that is still what I'm looking for. I am still remaining bullish on the long term, uh, but just getting that pullback that we were looking for, and we're going to be covering some of the local levels and the key more not macro but the the bigger levels we need to watch to the downside certain levels that if we lose we have to look at uh potentially flipping bearish um so we're going to be covering at all the key levels uh and then we're going to be covering the altcoins as well guys and today guys as you know joel from Hit Network Gaming is doing his 24-hour stream, and uh, right after my live stream, I will, uh, I believe, I am going back to the uh, the Hit Network or the Hit Factory uh, to go hang out with him on that 24-hour live stream. Hopefully, we play Fortnite. I think we might be playing WWE. I don't know. I just uh, he just puts a controller in my hand. I play whatever he gives me. Uh, but I hope we get to play some Fortnite. I haven't played Fortnite in, in a minute. Uh, but guys. We are trying to get Joel to a thousand subs. You see the poll at the top of the chat. Uh, it is funny. Like I wonder what made people pick certain uh, certain answers that were the same. Uh, but. Uh, guys, we're trying to get into a thousand subs, and uh, I brought this up a couple times. I don't like to ask for things from you guys, but if we could get him to a thousand likes, the reason we want him to a thousand likes is so we can raid him, and if we run him up to a thousand likes, uh, we'll be able to raid him. Uh, I think he will be live by the time we get off the stream, and then we can raid him live, uh, but we just want to be able to raid him all the time, so he's got to get a thousand subs, guys, so if you're not subscribed to the Hit Network Gaming channel, definitely go check it out. The link is pinned to the chat above. And if we get Joel to 1,000 subscribers by the end of my stream, we're going to be doing a, a, a fire giveaway. I think, I, I think we should give away. Uh, I talked to Tony about it. I think we should give away uh, at least a month of uh, 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 free premium Discord, uh, a free month of premium Discord. Maybe we could give away a couple of free months to a couple different people. And if we hit 850 likes, we will add even more giveaways. But really, guys, let's get that like goal of 850 up there. However, I will say... Let's get him to it. I would rather get him to 1,000 uh, subs than get the likes. So if you're going to pick one or the other, I mean, do both. But if you're going to pick one or the other, just go sub to his channel real quickly. Put the link up there. Uh, and then, yeah, if we get it by the time we're done spinning the wheel, I will pull his sub count up live so we can watch the people trickle out of my live stream and sub to his channel. We can watch the number go up live. But if we get him to 1,000, guys, I will uh, maybe, maybe we'll also rain down some memberships for you guys as well. And speaking of Frankie Candle's memberships, shout out to Hannah King says that scam wick was on Bybit as well, Frankie. Oh, shout out to Hannah King. I did not know that. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. Also, Hannah, uh, yeah, uh, as you guys know, Hannah has given a lot of memberships away, and as you guys know, yesterday, I, I kind of realized how much money it would cost for someone to give away uh, that, many, that many memberships. Uh, I know we get gifted by a lot of people, but Hannah has really been showing out. Uh, Hannah, uh, we're actually... Uh, we're sending you something out, Hannah, just to just to show a little bit of appreciation for you because uh, you've been uh, making it absolutely rain on the Candle Mafia, giving away those free memberships. So we really do appreciate you. We're just sending you a small little thing. Uh, it's nothing crazy. Just sending you a small little thank you. Uh, we really do appreciate all the support. And uh, her and Crypto Billy are absolute menaces with these giveaways. And speaking of giveaways and Crypto Billy, guys... Crypto Billy might bless the Candle Mafia once again. I feel like most of our fire giveaways have been from Crypto Billy, uh, but uh, I got to talk to him a little bit after the stream. But uh, we may be, or I should say, Crypto Billy may actually uh, uh, give away something really, really cool to the Candle Mafia. Uh, but I don't want to ruin anything just yet. Uh, but shout out to Ross Reynolds says, shout out to the greatest YouTuber, Frankie. Shout out to Ross Reynolds. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you for uh, showing so much support. I really do appreciate you, bro. Uh, and then shout out to BullishSauce.eth showing a ton of support. Thank you for the $5 super chat. I do appreciate you so much, man. Uh, I really do. You're out here. Uh, and uh, shout out to anybody who I was talking to in the comments last night. Uh, 
I don't know what got into me. I just sat on YouTube and ran through about 150 comments, and uh, I just wanted to say what's up to the Mafia, because uh, we talk in live chat a lot, but uh, there's a lot of people who can't catch the live stream, so I gotta go say what's up to them in the comments. Uh, but, guys, with all that being said, let's call out some of these uh, some of these Candle Mafia members real quick, tell them what's up, and then let's jump right into the charts, because we do have some really exciting things to take a look at. Uh, and I mean exciting if you were looking for some downside. Uh, but what is going on, guys? We got Captain Kirk in the chat, guys. Don't forget, show our mods some love. We have absolute elite mods that are cut from a different cloth. You're not going to find these guys uh, just in any old plain YouTube channel, or you're not going to find... Uh, uh, they're the best mods on YouTube, guys. You could, I, I would be confident that our mods can crush any other mod on YouTube, and that's not just in the crypto niche. That is in all niches. Uh, but shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me. Shout out to uh, Zach... Uh, J uh, Jared... Jer Jernigan, uh, I don't know how to say your last name, but shout out to Zach. Thank you for being here, bro. FOMO Sapien saying, what's up to Captain? We got Creighton C, Johnny Jackhammer. What's up, Johnny Jackhammer? Creighton C, thank you for being here. Uh, Creighton C said, I'll take a Rolex, Frankie. Thanks. Uh, ben can afford it. I like the Batman and the Pepsi Rolex. All right, shout out to the Batman and the Pepsi. You know Starbucks? Not a Starbucks guy? Let's go. Uh, Creighton's a watch guy, I can tell. Uh, shout out to you, man. Crypto Anon, what is going on, bro? Thank you for being here. We got Crypto Nick. No, Kryptonic. Crypto, cryptonautic, cryptonautic. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for being here. Uh, Benjamin, what is going on, Benjamin? I think I uh, responded to your comment yesterday. Riding that saucy scout trade, posted in the premium. Let's go. Yeah, uh, we are in a short trade in the premium Discord, guys. Shout out to you, Benjamin. Uh, happy you were able to take advantage of that setup. Shout out to Gray Wolf. Shout out to Jonah Plain Clothes. I'm my hero, uh, Peter. Uh, Peter Gorman. And uh, Psychedelic Astronaut on my hero, Tommy Gunn, Rockstar Cola Gomez, and last but certainly, certainly not least, Chemistry Bro and Crypto Curious. Uh, but guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and change my settings real quick so we can pull up the charts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I will say this. I'm making a promise to the Candle Mafia. This weekend, guys, I will find the time. I don't care what I'm doing. I will find the time to organize my charts because I'm not going to lie, guys. Let's jump right into the charts. Lately, uh, I can't do it without the transition, but uh, lately I've kind of been like, I got so many charts open here. They all have similar levels, but they're not exactly the same. I'm going to clean up my charts, guys, and keep it super, super easy and simple uh, to look at because I know it's probably a little bit complicated when I swap between charts on the live stream. Maybe you guys don't even notice. I don't know. Uh, but I would be uh, I, I would be getting annoyed at this point if I was on your – if I was uh, watching, uh, you know, it's like, hey, he was just looking at this level. It's $3 below that level that he just looked at. Uh, so I'm going to clean that up for you guys. Uh, I'm sure probably no one really notices but me. But uh, we're going to fix it anyway because uh, if you're not doing it the right way, you're doing it the wrong way. I don't know how else that saying would go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump in here, guys. Let's turn off that TA and see what we're looking at. Now, obviously, uh, we are getting a little bit of a move to the downside. Shout out to that premium Discord, guys. Uh, yeah, we were talking about this earlier today. But let me, uh, you know, obviously, as we zoom out here, guys, like it's not really uh, nothing too crazy happening here. It's just a little local move. Uh, but it could be the start of something bigger. And we're going to take a look at why I think that. However, coming up to the weekly time frame, guys, I do just want to cover this stuff very briefly. Um... And uh, I'm not going to harp on this. I cover this almost every single day. So I'm just going to go over this very, very quickly. Money flow on the weekly is coming to the upside. Looking pretty good in my opinion. This is a very bullish sign. And this could wind up uh, being, uh, this could this could be the signal that the bottom is in, guys. I am not going to lie. Uh, this money flow crossing into the green is a very bullish sign, bullish sign. And every other time we've ever had this happen in history, the bottom was already in. Now, you want to remember... History doesn't always have to repeat itself exactly, uh, but yeah, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something that is uh, uh, worth looking at, right? Because you got the crossover here, bottom was in, crossover here, bottom was in, and now we're about to get a crossover here, potentially in the next week or two. Uh, that could mean that 15.5 was the bottom. Now, moving on, you guys know the six day is kind of the only time frame here that has ugly money flow. Out of all the higher time frames, guys, the six day is the only one that has bearish money flow. Uh, however, it is there, right? So we cannot ignore it. However, I will say with the money flow crossover into the green on the five day and the four day in the green as well, I do think that we could potentially wind up seeing this uh, uh, money flow crossing into the green kind of leak into the six day, pushing it back up and getting it looking a little bit more healthy here, hopefully in the next week or so. Uh, we are going to print another candle here in one day. Uh, so in the next day or so, we're print another candle. We'll have a little bit more information to look at. Um, 
Other than that, guys, weekly looking great. Five day green dot is looking good. Now, we are a little bit overbought on these higher time frames, but one thing I want to show you guys is that uh, five day bearish divergence that was looking to potentially print uh, is no longer in play. It wasn't even printing, so it's not like it got invalidated. I mean, I guess it kind of did get invalidated, uh, but it just, it was looking to print and it never printed, so that is now not a thing. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, shout out to Hannah King said the last few times we've been expecting a bigger pullback. It has not happened. That's all I'm gonna say uh, Yeah, and that is why guys I am saying that uh, I am NOT calling for this to be like a rare bearish sign Just looking for a short-term pullback before another leg up uh, It feels like uh, that's part of my catchphrase now because <laughs> I say it exactly the same every single time uh, Not calling for a nuke to zero or a nuke to the floor uh, But just looking for a smaller pullback or a bigger pullback, uh, but but just looking for to be generally a pretty small pullback before a move to the upside. And again, we're going to take a look at those key levels in just a second. Uh, but continuing on here, uh, coming back up to those higher daily time frames, they do look pretty good. Your five-day, again, money flow crossover into the green. Four-day money flow is in the green. Now, the one thing to realize here is we do still technically potentially have a bearish divergent. Uh, uh, bearish divergent? What is that? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we do have a potential bearish divergence forming here on the four-day. Uh, so that is, uh, you know, we do have to keep an eye on that. It could potentially get invalidated. Um, but overall, guys, with these higher daily time frames, they do look good. Two-day or three-day also could potentially print that uh, bearish divergence. And the same thing on the two-day. And then we'll get to the daily in a second, which I want to talk about. But... Um, Another thing to kind of realize here, although money flow looks good, I want to be very clear here, guys. Money flow looks good, which is why I'm remaining bullish, right? Uh, because money flow indicates the longer-term trend, right? I don't care. Uh, I mean, I do when I'm scalping, but I don't necessarily care. Uh, I don't necessarily care about uh, the short-term noise, right? Unless I'm scalping, right? Uh, but for when trying to predict the longer-term trend, I really only care about the money flow. Uh, so the fact that the money flow looks so good on a lot of these higher time frames, obviously with the exception of the six-day, that is what's got me feeling bullish. However, we have to keep an eye on these VWAPs as well because those could also indicate moves to the downside as well. And that five-day VWAP is starting to roll over pretty early, right? Like, it's it's pretty early here. Too soon to tell. This could come back up or even come down a little bit and then gum up a little bit. Uh, Four-day VWAP is coming down. Now, the two-day is really what I'm looking at. In the next day or so, guys, we may wind up getting that red dot printing here on the two-day, and that would give us... A pretty nasty bearish divergence on the two-day time frame. Now, let me go ahead and hide this TA real quick. Let me go ahead and hide that. And let me go ahead and hide all this, right? Uh, and, yeah, so let's uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at that for a second. This two-day bearish divergence, uh, this is really the only one. Th this is kind of the only one I'd be worried about because this is pretty strong, right? Uh, so take a look here, right? We obviously have our higher highs on our price action, massively higher highs. And we have our lower highs on our momentum waves. Uh, now, this is technically a bearish signal and could indicate a bigger move to the downside or even just uh, also could just wind up uh, showing up as consolidation or a small pullback. However... This is looking for that red dot soon, right? So this is likely going to print uh, before the, uh, this is gonna print before those other higher time frames start printing. Um, so this is the first one I am watching. And uh, this, again, uh, could, you know, kind of help uh, assist us get that move down, right? Now, coming over to the daily, this is kind of the first thing that was making me think that we could get this pullback. Um, well, I say this pullback like it's happening. I know we're coming down a bit here, uh, but this is not the pullback I'm looking for. This is, could be the beginning of the pullback that we're looking for. Um, but uh, you can see we do have uh, – this is a little easier seen on the uh, daily, on the regular candles. You can see here higher highs on our price action with our lower highs on our momentum waves, showing us that. Uh, now, the problem with this is, for me, is basically that, you know, you have your higher highs right here with your lower highs on your momentum waves, and that gave us a big move down. Now, we do definitely have this bear dip. Higher highs with momentum coming out. However, you do kind of want to notice here that momentum was kind of coming out, right? Boom, 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 right? Even from here, that was coming out. However, we came pretty deep down below that zero line, and now this could be the start of momentum coming back up, right? So uh, you want to keep that in mind. However, uh, this is with the money flow coming out here, guys. This is a pretty. This looks pretty bearish, in my opinion. Um, now it doesn't mean that it's absolutely going to dump, uh, but you know, I, 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 if I have to get my opinion on this, uh, this this looks bearish, right? Money flow coming out, bear divs confirmed, um, and not only that, guys. 
we are hitting the uh the uh like like absolute like savage savage level of resistance right because we have this massive level of resistance here obviously we covered this uh, the past few streams so again not going to harp on it we held that as support here it acted as support basically throughout this whole area and then we held it right before getting the absolute dump into our actual bear market as you can see here um so this is going to be a very very key level of resistance and we're going to cover these levels much much more in a minute um but that just adds when you get a daily bear dip with money flow coming out at a level that is literally like this is like the craziest level like we this was also a very key level of resistance uh right here from the twenty-five thousand dollar highs that we made back in august uh this was a very very monumental level to get above as well uh but this is even bigger right so this is a very very important level of resistance so the fact that we have the bear div plus this very unique special like this isn't just a random level right we're basically fighting the support that was built throughout the entire bear uh entire bull market right so uh you, not only do you have the bear div, but you have it at that key level of resistance, right? Because we're not just shorting all these random bear divs, right? We want to make sure that we're getting a bear div into strong resistance with bearish com other bearish confirmations, right? And we do, we are starting to get those, right? So uh, bear div into key resistance. And then as we work our way down some of these medium time frames, guys, taking a look at our four hour, our four hour money flow is coming to the downside. Our three hour money flow is coming out as well. The two is cr uh, two hour is crossing over into the red. I'm gonna turn on market cipher A to spot any blood diamonds here. Um, yeah, confirmed blood diamond uh, on the two hour on the Heikenashi candles, but money flow is cruising to the downside, looking for the crossover on the Heikens. One hour money flow is also creeping down, um, and we have been making lower highs. Yeah, I mean these are kind of equal highs uh, with our money flow. Uh, but even if you look over multiple blue waves, we are making lower highs, kind of giving us that general direction to the downside. So again, not necessarily calling for zero, but we have money flow coming out on top of that bear div with money flow coming out on the daily, money flow coming out on the medium time frames, up against key resistance, right? This is why I have been expecting um, or just saying that it, the technicals are pointing towards a pullback before another move up, not just an absolute moonshot to the upside, even though uh, this scam wick did have me thinking like I was this this scam wick happened uh, earlier this morning when I was recording my uh, market update. And I'm like, guys, let's check out that. Uh, let's check out that daily uh, and take a look at this bearish sign that we're talking about. And then like it just started mooning. And I was like, what is going on? I was like, are we really going to push through this resistance? The bulls are really back. And then it was just a complete scam wick. And then we came back down. Uh, so, uh, um, but yeah. Uh, oh, and shout out to Brian says we're at the value area low right now. Keep, be careful, peeps. Yeah, guys, don't be FOMOing into those shorts. Don't be FOMOing. Uh, but we're going to take a look at those levels and those shorts in just a second. Um, but again, right? So bear div on the daily. Two-day bear div shaping up to look pretty ugly if we get it. Uh, and money flow is also coming out on the daily. Key resistance. Money flow coming out on the four, two, one. A lot of the medium to lower hourly time frames. Uh, so again, this together can work to give us some kind of a pullback. Um, Crypto Anon saying that 8K uh, still think we can hit it. We need to get above 30 and find support above 30, and I will flip from bearish to bullish. Crypto Anon, let's go. Uh, and that's all you guys, this is how you want to think of things, right? Uh, and I love that because, uh, you know, uh, Crypto Anon, and I know I, I, just for anyone who's uh, wondering, like, I know that his name is Cryptonon, uh, but I just always misread it as Crypto Anon, so he's always going to be Crypto Anon to me. Uh, but uh, yeah, this, uh, I, I love that, right? Because um, just because we're getting this pump, and everybody thinks the bottom's in now. Uh, Crypto ain't on sticking to his guns. He's like, no, no, no. My TA tells me it's going to 8K. I'm sticking with that. But he's not just blindly holding on to that hope because he's emotional about it. He has a line in the sand where if he gets above that level and holds support, that's where he's flipping bullish. That is uh, the, the bu a beautiful definition of objective TA. So shout out to Crypto Anon. Uh, uh, yeah, that is uh, uh, the, the poster child for uh, you know non-biased, non-emotional TA. I absolutely love it. Shout out to you, bro. Um, but uh, I'm going to continue on with this, and I will come back to those super chats in just a second. Um, but... That's kind of why I was looking for this uh, for a move to the downside here, guys. And are we getting the start of that move or are we just going to get a bounce at this value area low? And speaking of that value area low, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, and let's go ahead. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. I need to like where, what chart are we looking at? Is this the chart I want to look at? It is. OK, so uh, guys, here is um, here is what we're looking at. I'm actually you know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm pulling it up on the on the clean chart here, guys. I'm pulling up the levels on the clean chart. I kind of like this. Uh, let me know 
if you guys like me kind of finding the level. Do you guys like me when I have the levels already, or do you like running through it together and kind of seeing how I do the TA? Uh, let me know. I'm going to run through it real quick like this, uh, and if you guys hate it, just let me know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and find some of these local levels that we've been looking at. I'm going to come down to the one hour, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pull some volume, right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it. We're going to pull it from here to here. Actually, drag it down here. Bada boom, right? So we are getting up to this value area low. This is the bitstamp chart. So here we are. Shout out to Brian Varney. He said we were at that value area low. Be careful. Uh, you know, people see, oh my God, it's dumping, it's dumping. They're going to get into a short here. And even if you are going to continue down, it is likely to get some kind of a bounce off that value area low before continuing lower. So a lot of people are going to FOMO in here, get stopped out, and then price is just going to go the, the way they wanted it to go anyway. And that is the most frustrating position to be in. Um, but uh, basic, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just pull up the, yeah, we'll just pull this up. Um, okay. So these are basically, uh, some of the levels that I am looking at guys. Now, obviously we were short, uh, from up here at the top of the range, uh, in the premium discord, we, uh, put that setup in there. Uh, I want to say like Monday or Tuesday or whatever. Uh, we were just looking for this setup here. We finally got it. We got our bearish confirmations, uh, and we, and we shorted it and we came down guys right over here. Uh, yeah, right here. And uh, it was, and then we came all the way back up. Likely, a lot of people, if you were using a stop loss, which is like, it's like I want it to be like, hey, who's in this trade right now, just to catch people who didn't use stop losses. Uh, but uh, I'm just kidding, guys. But uh, you know, this is, uh, this is, yeah, this would have stopped everybody out. Even if you had a crazy, crazy, uh, you know, loose stop loss here, you would have still gotten stopped out. Uh, absolutely brutal. But uh, that is one of the one of the positives about not using a stop loss, guys, is the fact that you know. Uh, Scam, you're protected from scam wicks, right? Uh, but it could liquidate you, depending on your leverage. But, um, yeah, we were looking at that short. And, again, guys, obviously, it's not as easy as just, you know, coming up to the high, putting in a short, putting in a long, putting in a short. You need to fight. Excuse me. You need to find your confirmations. And uh, you also have to be good at managing your trade, managing your risk, managing your emotions, all that good stuff. But, um. I do just want to stress how th the reason. Now, because not only did we short... Um, uh, uh, yeah, I think this was the actual level that we shorted. It might have been this level that we shorted. But either way, we were short from the top of the range. Uh, but not only did we short the top of the range all the way down, full take profit has been hit. Um, now, uh, but the whole, um, we're going to talk about this in a second. But not only were we short from the range, guys, but we also, let me see if I have it on the chart here. Uh, yeah, we were also long from, this is our long position, right? So uh, we are able, now the reason I bring this up is not to be like, ha ha, look, we catch good trades. The reason I do this is to show you guys the importance of looking at the market in terms of ranges, right? Now, I, I guess probably like, oh, God, Frankie Candles with the ranges again. But this is why we do this, guys, because we know that when we come down here, we can find our key levels and look for the specific confirmations that we need to enter a confident trade or a high probability trade to get a move not only uh, up, you know, not only a decent trade, but a trade from the value area low or a deviation from the value area low. And then we know... If we can get those bullish confirmations that we will likely get support on that value area low, and we know due to the laws of the volume profile that it will be likely for price to revisit that value area high, which is coming in right here at about $28,377. Uh, and then this is just pulled a little bit higher than that because we wound up wicking all the way up to here. So it was about a 6.5% move. Uh, but really the uh, full trade was just from, the, from down here to the value area high. Uh, and then what happened when we got up there? We could look for bearish confirmations. And if you could get your bearish confirmations, you could short it on the way back down, right? And that is exactly what we did. Uh, we found those bearish confirmations. We shorted it on the way back down. Uh, so we literally shorted the bottom. Uh, I'm sorry, long the bottom, shorted the top. Uh, and now here's the thing, right? If we wind up to, if you wind up coming down here, say you were in this trade uh, and you're sitting right down here and you're like, okay, it hit my full take profit, but you could wind up take, uh, you could choose to take partial profit here and then leave a little bit of a moon bag in there. Uh, and then if things look still look bearish, leave a little bit of money in the, leave, leave a part of your position in here. And then if we do wind up breaking this range and getting a big move, does this sound familiar, guys? We've been talking about, we talk about this every time we get an impulse up and we uh, range. I think you guys are probably starting to get a, a taste of how we actually trade on the channel. Um, but, uh, 
this is uh, this is basically how you do it, right? You look at the volume profiles, bearish confirmations down here, uh, bullish confirmations down here, long it up, find your bearish confirmations, short it down, and now we're in a position where you can either close your whole trade or you can leave a little bit in in case we get that deviation out of the range and we wind up losing this range. Now you get a beautiful, beautiful entry from the top, and then before you know it, even though you were really just looking for the trade down to the value area low to get a little quick bag, jump in, grab your money, grab your bag and jump out. Uh, but if we are getting bearish confirmations here and we are, it does look like we're going to move down more. Um, you wind up being short from the literal top, right? So this is how you do that. Uh, and that's why I like the volume profiles because it gives you context into what you're looking at, right? Um, you know, when we're looking here, we're not thinking, oh, we're mooning, we're mooning, go long. We're going to break out. We're going, wait, we're hitting the top of the range. And I'm starting to see some bearish confirmations. It looks like we might just continue to range here. And we might just go back down to the value area low. And at this point, guys, with the money flow coming out um, on the medium time frames, with the daily bear div, um, there's no guarantee. We'll have to take a closer look at this in a second to see if we're going to get a strong bounce here or not. Uh, but again, if we wind up breaking down, you'll wind up being short from the top of that range if you trade this way uh, like we do in the kitchen which is what we call our premium Discord. So uh, that's where the actual sauce is made, guys. But um, that is, uh, you know, that is the importance of the volume profiles, guys. So if you take anything away from this live stream, please go study the volume profiles. We have plenty of videos on my channel where I explain in depth not only how to set the settings up, but how to use the volume profile, what it is, and then I also show you the nuances of different shaped profiles because this is uh, somewhat of a balanced profile which you would want to treat in a certain way, uh, but we also have different types of volume profiles that come up in different shapes, and, you, and they're not all created equally, right? You can't trade a D-shaped volume profile the same way you trade a P-shaped volume profile, so we have a video breaking all that down for you too, and it's 100% free. Just go check it out on the channel, and if you don't want to watch my videos because you hate my face or something i just please if you're taking anything away from this i would even recommend if you don't like my videos go watch other videos on volume profiles the important takeaway is that you're learning about the tool uh it doesn't matter if you watch me or not right uh so definitely go do that it's one of the most powerful trading tools i've ever found in my entire life uh well i mean i guess in my trading career not my entire life well i guess kind of uh but uh definitely go check check out the volume profiles guys because this is how we are able uh to get into these trades i know a lot of you guys are probably like how is he just shorting the top and long in the bottom I'm like, this is how. We're giving you the juice, boys. Let's go. Uh, the sauce. Uh, but uh, with that being said, guys, uh, let's try to figure out where this thing is going in the short term. So uh, I'm going to come back over to this chart uh, or not. Yeah, see, this is, guys, this is why I need to clean up my dang charts. Somebody clean up this guy's dang charts. Um, all right. Well, uh, where's the chart that I use for the, for the morning market update? Hang on, guys. Bear with me here. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, all right, I guess I deleted it. I guess I deleted it all. Did I really do that? Wow, what a clown. What a clown. Um, let me just check one more. Uh, if it's not on here, I'll just uh, use a different chart. Yeah, I don't think it is. Uh, okay, well, anyway, um, here we go. Uh, we'll just take it. I mean, they're, they're all the same levels. That chart was a little bit cleaner. Um, but uh, you know what? Let's just start fresh here. I'm going to go ahead and delete all the TA. And I want to show you guys the key levels to the downside, right? So first, let's find the key levels of resistance uh, real quick. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull this live. Uh, I'm going to come down to the four hour. The local golden pockets, right? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna grab our Fibonacci retracement tool. And we're going to go ahead and uh, grab our Fibonacci pull it there. Um, I'm not going to worry about getting that to the exact, exact uh, pixel, guys, uh, but this is it, right? We're hitting that local golden pocket, right? And even if this was the only thing you were looking at, you'd be like, hey, that's a pretty macro golden pocket. That's like a big boy golden pocket, right? It's not some little micro uh, golden pocket on the five minute. Uh, this is a big golden pocket. So, uh, you know, very strong resistance. And then again, obviously, that is also very important because you also are testing uh, these very, very important levels of uh, support that we previously held in the bull market. So again, that's why it is super, super important. And then if we go ahead and grab our volume profile and go ahead and pull that little, that little, uh, that little micro range that we traded in, uh, whoops, let me go ahead and change those settings real quick. A little bada boom, a little bada bing, a little boom. There you go, right? So you also have the value area low of that previous range at this level. So again, flipping this level would be very bullish for Bitcoin because it does open the door to come up to first off. Uh, it opens up the door to 30K and it also opens up to the door to between about 31.2 and 31. 
uh, 31 7 ish, 7, 31 7, 31 8, right? Uh, so that's what we need to get that big break to the upside. Uh, and really, we're knocking on the door here. So again, if we come back up and we start pushing through this blue box and we flip that golden pocket, that's where I'm expecting bigger move up for Bitcoin. But again, I do think it's more likely to get that cool off first, which is really what I want to show you guys right now. And that is where can we pull back to? Now, Going ahead and checking out, uh, I'm going to pull this little range. This is our macro range. You guys can see that, obviously. Uh, and this level does come in at about 25K. It's between 25K and 25.1. Um, it'll probably vary depending on exactly uh, what candles you pull your volume from. Or it will also likely vary uh, depending on... Um, what exchange you're using, right? So uh, it's at about 25K, right? So that is going to be a very, very key level because not only is it the value area high of our previous range, but it is also, uh, uh, what is it also? What am, uh, I just completely brain farted. Uh, it's our value area high. Uh, it's also a psychological level of uh, support being that 25K even level. People like to have orders set at those nice even levels. Uh, so we may get uh, decent support there as well. Uh, so this would be a very, 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 very major level to hold. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a box there for it. And the only reason I'm doing that is because uh, I drew the top of that box to the top of these bodies, right? Bodies of the candles. So this is going to be um, a very, very key level to watch because we do make it down. That's where I would be looking for a very strong bounce. But not only that, but very similarly to how this level, that value area low of our previous range from back here, just like that level is the doorway to higher prices for Bitcoin, we want to think of this level at 25K as basically the same thing, but in the opposite manner, right? Uh, because if we do come back down here and we start testing this level and we break below it and we can't get back above, we may get accepted back into this area of balance. And you guys know how the volume profiles work. Once you break that value area high, we may cruise right back down to the POC. And even, you know, as soon as you can't hold that value area high, you are basically expecting price to, uh, it is a higher probability that price comes back down to your value area low, but obviously it is likely uh, that you find some support on top of your POC, which is going to be that next key level that we're watching, um, and that is the point of control at about uh, $23,000, which is a very, very, very key level. Um, uh, obviously, this is a level that we were looking at in the past. Uh, going to be a very strong level at 23K. However, uh, we are pretty far away from that at this moment. But remember, things can happen very quickly. Um, and that's only if we break this value area high. Now, this level is also a very, very strong uh, or a, a very, very important level. Uh, because not only is it the point of control of the macro range, but it is also our golden pocket retracement level of this entire move to the upside. So if we do get a move down there, again, the, we do have confluence here that this is going to be a very, very strong level of support. Uh, so there you go. That is another level that I would be watching to the downside if we are able to make it down there. And then if we can't hold that level, obviously our next logical spot to go is going to be technically the 786, but it is going to be likely if we can't hold that POC that eventually you make it back down here to the value area low. Um, but you do have that 786 coming in right before it. So uh, those are the major, major levels to the downside that I would be watching for, guys. Um, and then obviously if we zoom in a little bit, uh, we do have the uh, local range that we were just looking at, which is basically from here to here, where we're sitting at that value area low. Uh, so again, if we lose this range, I'm going to pull up that VPVR, see where the volume is at. You guys can see. Now, I'm not calculating um, a ton of other candles here, uh, but just kind of this uh, range of price action that we have here. And you guys can see, right? Um, and I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually going to pull this, uh, this little range right here as well. Uh, but you guys can see, right? We're ranging around in this area of balance, right? Uh, and that is correlation. That's in correlation with these high volume nodes. But once we lose that value area low, you will notice that we are also going to be losing this high volume node, which is, uh, you know, you got a high volume node here, high volume node here. Once you lose that value area low, um, we. Uh, okay, hang on, guys. Mrs. Ken, is there an emergency? Yeah, Ken's had such a good one, but I couldn't stop What? Okay, hold up, Mrs. Candle. Do 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 do. Breaking news! Mrs. Candles just came in and said, "Crypto Gideon." Okay, guys, I'm gonna come back to the chart in a second, but Crypto Gideon said, uh, "Would you say Gideon or Gideon, Mrs. Candles?" Um, I say whatever you think. They probably can't hear you. You gotta talk into the mic. I can get that close. Oh, she can't talk to the mic. She's gonna have to go on camera talking to the mic. But uh, Crypto Gideon apparently just 
uh, just gifted $250 worth of memberships on the Candle Mafia. Hang on, guys. I am behind. Oh, oh, God. I missed it, guys, because I froze the super chats because I didn't want to miss them. Crypto. Crypto Gideon. What? You're a madman. You're a madman. You're a madman. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. I just shot Mrs. Candles with the with the ping pong blaster. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Crypto Gideon. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for those giveaways. Uh, and, uh, oh, wait. What, what? I can't scroll anymore. I can't scroll anymore, guys. Uh, shout out to you. Oh, my God. Literally. Uh, like 100, like, oh my, everybody's got a green name now. Let's go. Shout out to you. Oh my God. Everybody's going nuts. Shout out to you, bro. That is $250 worth of memberships. Everybody show Crypto Gideon some love. Let's go. Bing bong. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. This one's for you, bro. Let's get it. Shout out to, shout out to the Candle Mafia. It's raining money and it's not me. That's shooting that money. It's Crypto Gideon. Gideon, Gideon, let us know, uh, Crypto Gideon, how I'm supposed to say your name. I feel like I got to know how to say it right now after that donation. Uh, let's go. Shout out, to, uh, shout out to the Candle Mafia. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. Uh, wow. That is insane. Absolutely going nuts. Hey, everybody, go ahead and try out those new emojis. Uh, <laughs> let's go nuts with the emojis. Let's get it. You guys are absolutely crazy. Shout out to Ginger Pickett. Uh, says amazing channel. Ginger, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Uh, Crypto Gideon, that is an absolute uh, selfless act of kindness for you. Uh, and I really do appreciate that, bro. And I know the Candle Mafia does as well. Now everybody has a membership. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, you guys are insane. Shout out to Crypto, Crypto Gideon. Uh, you're the man, bro. Mrs. Candles just patted me on the bat like I'm a good boy. <laughs> She said, don't be weird. Okay, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, shout out to Crypto Giddy. Like, I want to say it a thousand times, uh, but <laughs> shout out to you, man. Really, really, really crazy, man. You're, a, you're, you're, a, you're, you're crazy. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Mark. Uh, Mark Mc, uh, McEllery says, can we look at District OX? Uh, just want your thoughts. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, uh, Rob. Uh, or Tony, or whoever's doing altcoins tonight, if we could just throw that on the list, I'll try to take a look at it. Um, yeah, shout out to Tony D. He says, Crypto Gideon says, I would, uh, I would be in a bad situation without Frankie Candles. He's taught me so much. I'm not even an expert yet. Bing bong, y'all welcome to the Mafia. Let's go. Well, welcome to everybody who is a new Frankie Candles member or just joined the Mafia. Let's go. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. Uh, I will be spending some extra time tonight cleaning up this absolute mess of money. Uh, but hey, it's for Crypto Gideon and the Candle Mafia. Bing bong. Shout out to you, bro. Let's get it. Woo, baby. Oh my God, guys. This, this, this money gun, this bing bong blaster, uh, this bagel blaster, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, is absolutely insane uh, and creates a mess instantly. Shout out to you guys, though. Uh, absolutely lit. Crypto Gideon, you're an absolute savage. Thank you for doing that. Uh, and thank you all for being here. I appreciate every single one of you guys. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump back into the charts. And I will come back to those super chats as soon as we finish Bitcoin, guys. But we do have a lot to talk about here. And I want to make sure you guys are prepared going into the weekend. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, it's absolutely insane. I love it. Memberships for everyone. You get a membership. You get a membership. You're in the mafia. You're in the mafia. Now try to leave. <laughs> That's the tricky part. Uh, and shout out to Tony D making it rain memberships even more. You guys are absolutely insane. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, yeah, Ethereum doesn't have the crazy scam whips, <laughs> scam wicks. I know. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely nuts. You guys are absolutely crazy. Let's get it. Chat rate is at 102. Let's get it. You guys are nuts. Um, all right, guys, let's go ahead and continue on here with the TA. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say here is uh, obviously we have these high volume nodes here. If we break that value area low, uh, you can see we do have some levels here. We do have you know a little bit of volume uh, popping up here and there. But for the most part, volume does have a pretty big fall off until these high volume nodes down here uh, at about 25K, right? Um, or, or just below 25K. And you guys know uh, that when price leaves one value area, right, which is right here, the value area between the value area high and the value area low, you guys know once you lose that value area decisively, Price will hunt out the next value area, and in this case, it would likely hunt out the next uh, value area or the next high volume node, which happens to be right down here. So, 
If we lose that value area low, I would look for a move all the way down to that 25k level. I would be cautious of some wicks uh, or just some lower time frame candle closes below down here before potentially popping back up. Um, but this is going to be a pretty big level I'm watching, guys. Um, but yeah, and then you could kind of see as we kind of zoom out here, uh, you could kind of see right as right under this blue box, there is just a massive, massive wall of volume, right? So it's very likely if we do come down here that we will kind of bounce off that high volume. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's basically what we're looking at, guys. Uh, and that's why I am looking there. Now, where is our CME gap? Do we have a CME gap? I think we do. Uh, where is it at is the question. Yeah, the CME gap is way down there at about 20K. Um, so... Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know if we're going to come down there and fill this, uh, but not impossible. Absolutely, uh, definitely not impossible, but um, really, I mean, I wouldn't really be looking all the way down here until we start, like, really losing that POC. When we lose this POC, that's where I'm looking down lower uh, to that uh, $20,000 $20,000 CME gap. And it's really funny because uh, we just came down here, right? We got this absolute, right? We were calling for that 19.5 CME gap fill right here. Uh, and then price finally broke down, right? And we finally got that move down to that CME gap. And then we just created another one. So uh, very, very interesting. But those are the levels I'm watching on Bitcoin, guys. And again, I think I covered it enough. Uh, I would expect, you know, potential a uh, little bit more of a pullback before getting another move up. So I am still bullish, guys. I am still bullish. But again, those bearish signals are pointing for a move down before another move up. Uh, so, and then those are the key levels I am looking at to the downside. Um, and again, just to add more confluence to this level at about 25K, not only is it our value area high, uh, not only is it a psychological level of about 25K, but also if you pull this little micro range right here, we also have the value area high of that range in that area as well. Uh, and I also believe there is a 786 uh, uh, level here as well. So, I. Uh, uh, or maybe not. Uh, but um, that is basically what I'm looking at on Bitcoin, guys. So be careful. We may be able to get a little bit of uh, a bigger pullback here. Uh, shout out to uh, Mickey Day says, great channel. Shout out to you, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And welcome to the Candle Mafia, where I show you how to make just some of this stuff. I show you how to make a little bit of this trading crypto or Bitcoin, whether the price is going up or down. Because uh, some people don't even know you can make money on the way down. And that's what we've been doing the entire bear market. Uh, it's basically like a never-ending bull market, right? Because you ride it up in the bull market and your money is falling from the sky. And then the bear market comes and everyone's like, wow, the, bull, mar the bear bull market's over. The bear market's here. Time to go uh, you know, walk away until the next bull market. And we're just like, what? We can make money going down. What are you talking about? Start the new bull market, which is the bear market, and then we just short it all the way down. Let's go. Shout out to you guys, and shout out to anybody who just got gifted a uh, membership. Let's get it. Uh, but yeah, now, guys, uh, um, oh, yeah, uh, and to get the gifts, guys, uh, apparently you have to turn on YouTube gifting um, and then pray to Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, you do have to change a setting on YouTube. You have to like accept gifts or something. It's a little setting that you have to change uh, to let people gift you a membership. Um, but yeah, Crypto Gideon, really, man, we really do appreciate that a lot, bro. Uh, shout out to you, man. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see what we got going on. <laughs> Look at the Candle Mafia just like just telling people exactly how to get these. I love it. Uh, let's go, Jonah Plain Clothes and making it both ways. Let's get it. Uh, loved watching Frankie on the beach on vacay in Hawaii at noon. Shout out to Crypto Crab, man. Uh, is that, I knew, I knew that crab was following me. I knew the crab was following me. I didn't know it was Crypto Crab Man. I thought it was an actual crab. Uh, but for anyone who's curious, Crypto Crab Man does look exactly like a crab. All uh, right, uh, shout out to you, bro. Thank you for being here. Um, but guys, with that being said, making money on the way up is great. It's even sweeter to make it on the way down. And this is the Bitcoin way. Shout out to you. I think I answered some of your comments yesterday as well. Thank you for all the support. Uh, but um, yeah, I love you, Frankie. Shout out to Skywalker. I love you back, man. Um, but uh, uh, now we're going to jump into the altcoins, guys. However, I'm even going to change the topic here. I'm going to be a little better with the uh, uh, topic changes here. Uh, but, um, uh, <laughs> hey, what's, and, 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 NFTs, what is going on, bro? I guess it's just Ant Art now. Shout out to you, man. Um, uh, what is going on, bro? Uh, but. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at those altcoins right now. So if you want to see your favorite altcoin, go ahead and drop it in chat. Uh, uh, Captain or Crypto Billy or Crypto Anon or Tony uh, will go ahead and count up those votes. Uh, and while they're doing that, guys, usually I take a look at Ethereum or Erythrium, as your grandmother might call it. But... I do have to, I'm going to go through these super chats and stuff because there was a lot of action tonight and I want to make sure we don't miss anybody. 
Um, so I'm going to start at the bottom here. Uh, Tony D, obviously, shout out to you, bro. Uh, shout out to Mark uh, McKellery. He asked us to look at District OX. We will try to do that for you. Um, and then shout out to TJ said, thoughts on uh, OMG Daily uh, Weekly TA. Uh, if we could add that to the list as well, mods, I will take a look at that. No problem. Um, um, uh, shout out to Hannah King said, I got stopped out of my long because of the buy because of the Binance FUD. Uh, I'm so salty when it comes to crypto exchange FUD. Uh, Hannah, I totally feel your pain. Uh, but shout out to you for uh, being a trooper about it. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, uh, the last few times, okay, yeah, we read that. Shout out to Hannah King. Last few times we were expecting a big move down. We didn't get it. Uh, do they not put the, uh, oh, they don't put the gifters on here? What the heck? Um, well, shout out to Bullish. Yeah, okay. Uh, shout out to BullishShots.eth and Ross Reynolds. Uh, but shout out to Bubba's Crypto for gifting those five Frankie Candles memberships. Let's go. Shout out to you. Tony D, shout out to you, man. Thank you for the five K Frankie Candles memberships. And Crypto Gideon with the 50 Frankie Candles memberships. Absolute lunatics out here. Uh, but I love each and every single one of you guys. Now, let's go ahead and check out Ethereum or Erythrium, as your grandmother might call it. Um, and then... Uh, uh, yeah, get your, uh, get your altcoins in here and then we will add them up and then, uh, and then the mods will be like, hey, look at this one. Look at that one. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, but let's go ahead, uh, shout out to Sir Quest. Let's go ahead and, uh, 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 shout out to Beft Up said, I'll rematch later. Peace, Mafia. Shout out to Beft Up. Uh, V Slim in the house. Let's get it. Uh, there we go. Um. Okay, thank you for that, Tyler. Now uh, we got the alts in the chat, uh, but let's go ahead and check, check Ethereum or Erythrium, as your grandmother might call it, first. Uh, and then uh, we do have a little bit of... Uh we, we, we were going to have a pretty long giveaway today, so i uh, going to try to get those spins started a little bit early. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, Ethereum also in a similar situation as Bitcoin, kind of just sitting at the bottom of its range right now, kind of sitting at the bottom of, or sitting at that value area low. You could pull it. Uh, I am actually gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it from here. So uh, just kind of, kind of losing the value area low. Kind of just, kind of just hanging out there. Uh, however, excuse me. Kind of a similar situation, guys. Uh, if if you wind up losing this, uh, not this value area low, but I would say, I mean, if we pull this, pull it to here. Yeah, I mean, maybe we pull it to there. Only reason I do that is to kind of get a, really just to show you guys in a cleaner manner. Uh, if we lose this level here at about 1730, uh, or, or not even, I would say once we start losing 17, yeah, I, if we lose the level we're at like right now, uh, it, it's basically going to be, uh, we have a little bit of a volume fall off on ETH. Uh, obviously, you have a little a little peak in volume there, uh, but really the next highest volume node is at about 1677, which is likely going to be, uh, yeah, 1677 would be a, uh, a a pretty good level to watch as it is your closest high volume node. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this chart up and start fresh. Um, and then we'll get rid of this volume, and then we'll zoom out. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and uh, find some of these ranges, right? So I'm gonna pull that macro. Uh, I'm gonna pull this. Uh, not, I don't need a long position. Let's go ahead and pull that macro. Uh, what is it? Thursday. There we go. From Friday the 13th on. Um, so this is our macro range, guys. Now it looks a little bit different than Bitcoin, obviously, um, but that level, that value area high, is coming in at about seventeen hundred dollars even. I'm going to mark that out because uh, that is going to be a very key level. Not only, again, is that a uh, a very psychological level, but also the value area high of our range. Um, so it would not be impossible or it would kind of be likely to come back down and test that level even if we are going to get another move up. Um, and then this is also going to be, I'm also going to draw this as a range. I'm going to go from the body. Up. I'm, uh, I'll explain in a second. I'm going to the body of this candle, guys, uh, and just kind of making that a box. Uh, and you can see we kind of tap that level right here. But um, it, this is kind of the same thing as Bitcoin, where is if we do come down here and we do not get a big bounce up, I will be looking for a potential breakdown below the value area high. And if we can't get back above that value area high, I would be looking for a move down to your POC coming in at about 1636. And then um, I actually do want to see, I don't know if this is the case, uh, but I doubt it will be. Um, but on Bitcoin, the Fib pull from the low to the high uh, made that, uh, yeah, it's definitely not. Uh, but Golden Pocket doesn't come to the POC, but it does come in uh, somewhat of confluence with that value area low. So I'll just go ahead and draw that as a little bit of a box. Um, so 
if we lose this value area high and cannot get it back above, I would look for a quick move down to about, uh, maybe not quick, maybe not a quick move, but I would look for a move down to your POC at about 1636. And if we lose that POC, I would look for a move down uh, to this level between about 1556 and 1520. Now, 1550 uh, is a very strong level, guys. 1550 has acted as a very strong level uh, for a long time. Um, and this was a level that we were looking at uh, uh, a lot in the past. So, uh, again, just looking at the volume profile here for the most part, guys. Um, and then you have your 786. If you do get a move out of that range, your 786 is coming in at about uh, 1473. So, uh, these are the levels I would be looking at for uh, or looking for on ETH. And as you guys know, uh, you know, uh, Ethereum has kind of been leading the way on these signals uh, for uh, uh, leading Bitcoin in these signals. And uh, just to point this out, guys, um, I said in my market update that that green dot on the daily likely printed because of that really, really big, uh, because that really, really big scam wick and to watch out for it to either unprint or to uh, potentially have it get swallowed up by another red dot. And what do we have here on Ethereum? We have a red dot, right? And then we got that VWAP flip that we got on Bitcoin, but then we got an immediate VWAP flop, right? This is showing me that this is kind of a... Uh, you know, uh, the VWAP flip was not that powerful, and it makes sense because of that scam wick. It kind of is thinking like, oh, we're going up. Green dot prints like, oh, we're going up. I'm late to work. Oh, God. Pop up. Blink. Green dot. And then all of a sudden, it's like, hey, why'd the red dot pop up? Because uh, it was a scam wick. It's all a scam, guys. Uh, but actually, speaking of that, I do want to check on the uh, daily for Bitcoin. Did that green dot disappear yet? It did. It did. Uh, so there you go. Or was it on regular candles? No, guys, see? This is, let's go! Who saw my morning market update, guys? I said, don't trust that green dot. I said, I don't know if I trust that green dot right now, guys. I'm just saying. Uh, but there you go. That's your per that's, a, that's exactly why, right? It completely unprinted. It wasn't confirmed. Um, and it, it was most likely because of that scam wick. And now we are getting that moved down. So there, go. there we go. It disappeared. Uh, so uh, make sure you don't miss those morning market updates, guys. Sometimes there's uh, sauce in those. Uh, it's jam-packed full of sauce. But uh, all right. So there you go, right? Uh, but if we were getting that green dot, um, I would, I would uh, you know, just, just as a teachable moment here, um, if that green dot was still on Bitcoin, this would be signaling, especially because Ethereum has been leading Bitcoin a little bit uh, in its signals, uh, we would expect that bi that Bitcoin green dot to either disappear or get invalidated by an immediate red dot. Um, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, continue on here. Now, uh, again, red dot printing on the daily for Ethereum. We could have a little bit more downside in store for us. Uh, uh, you know, daily, you know, no, no bear div or anything. I don't believe, uh, no, 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 no. I am sorry. Massive bear div. Uh, uh, that is my fault. I should not have said that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would just even say from, I mean, even just from here. Yeah. I mean, way, way higher highs. I mean, very similar to Bitcoin, right? I mean, it's almost the same as Bitcoin, right? So you do have the bear div, uh, that was getting invalidated, but now it is still there. Uh, so there you go, right? Bear div on the daily for, uh, Ethereum. So this is a bearish sign. Not only that though, money flow is continuing to come out. That is a bearish sign. So the daily on Ethereum and Bitcoin definitely does look bearish. Um, uh, yeah, so that is, uh, that. yeah, definitely a bearish sign. 16-hour red dot confirmed, 12-hour red dot confirmed, money flow coming back out. Not the best sign. I, I would, uh, yeah, I would have to lean a little bit more bearish on Ethereum as well. Uh, but your key level, like we're much closer to our key level on Ethereum. So we're basically about to tap that level now. So uh, again, key level on Ethereum that I don't want to lose is going to be 1717, uh, between about 1717 and about uh, 1694. And then again, the reason we don't want to get below that is because it's likely to come back down to the value area low if we can't get back above that value area high. And if we don't go to the value area low, we're it's uh, likely to at least come to the value area or the point of control, uh, which again is coming in at about 1635. Uh, so there you go, guys. That is essentially what I'm looking at on Ethereum. Looking very similar to Bitcoin. Um, uh, but yeah, that is that is basically uh, what we're looking at here. So um, all right, let's see. Uh, we got Dixon in the chat. What is going on, Dixon? Um, uh, let's see. Did Hex make the altcoin list? I don't think, uh, I don't think it did, uh, but we could take a look at it. Um, uh, no, yeah. Oh, there is again. Uh, did we check? Uh, it's been tanking today. Need to know the support levels. Uh, yeah. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the rest of our altcoins here. We got them nice and neat listed at the top and, uh, I'm not going to lie guys. We're doing really good on time. So how about this? Uh, uh, Hey Tony, can you add, 
Uh, I'll just look at the Super Chats uh, to get their coins. But uh, we do have a little bit of extra time, so let's go ahead and check out Hex. We don't usually check out Hex on this channel. Uh, not for any particular reason. We just don't look at it often. People don't ask about it that much. Um, but uh, that sounded like, we don't look at it on this channel. Like I didn't mean it like that. Uh, but... Um, here we go, right? Uh, yeah, it has been tanking. That is sure. That's actually has been doing very, very well, honestly. This is this is. I said this the other day, guys. Now again, um, I am not. I don't know a lot about hex. Um, I'll be honest with you. Um, but there, I I've been saying. You know, I say every time we bring it up, like there's just something in me. Um, uh, <laughs> Danny Tiller said this membership is the most profit I made all week. Shout out to Danny. Um, but uh, you know, with hex, guys. Um, there is just something about Hex that I'm just like, I feel like it gets a lot of shade for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I'm just like, I think, like, like, I just think I should own, probably own some of this. I don't know what it is. Like, every time someone brings up Hex, I'm like, God, I should probably at least grab some. Uh, I don't have any Hex, uh, but I'm, I, I, I do want to buy some. Um, but anyway, uh, this thing has been absolutely ripping. I mean, it's been doing really well, guys. I mean... This is uh, back in December, right, where it started the move up. It's up, I mean, I it's up 785%, guys. Uh, like, listen, like, I know uh, Richard Hart is a controversial figure, uh, but uh, you, you have to understand that, uh, you know, and, and and again, like, listen, guys, like, I don't know Richard Hart personally. I've met him in person. We've, uh, you know, I, I, I've spent a very small amount of time with him. I met him, uh, you know, we, and we kind of hung. I didn't hang out with him alone, but, like, uh, I met him in person. He hung out at the office a little bit, uh, and he seems like a really, really nice guy. I'm going to be honest. I judge people by, uh, you know, who they are, not who pe other people think they are, right? Uh, especially on the internet, right? Like, people on the internet don't actually know who he is in real life. It's not like, it's not like this guy's, it's not like Richard Hart's best friends are saying he's, uh, you know, controversial. It's just random people on the internet um and, and random people on the internet think i'm a bad guy and if, uh, uh so like, if there's anything i'm confident about in my life it's that i am a good person so uh it's just crazy you can't believe people on the internet but um you know i will say this what else is up 785 percent right like they, you know it's it's funny because everybody always says with hex hex is the uh, outperforms every asset and everyone always says like no I, but like i don't know 780 percent like we have other altcoins that are up Pretty big time, right? Uh, 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 like XRP just mooned, right? But it's not up 785%. Um, like a lot of the altcoins are up, right? I know Litecoin has been uh, Litecoin has been doing really well. And we will get into the altcoins right after this, guys. But I do just kind of want to show this. Because uh, now that we're looking at Hex, uh, I do kind of realize like maybe these people, they, they got something to, there's something to this, right? Uh, Litecoin doing pretty good, right? Up 154%. Like uh, what's, another, what's another coin that's been like, uh, like, like uh, fetch.ai? Fetch.ai, guys. We were looking at Fetch. Um, uh, where is it? Uh, bottom of Coinbase, I guess. Uh, we were looking at Fetch before it mooned as well. This might be up like a massive percentage. We'll just go from the bottom of the top. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is like a new coin. It's up like a thousand percent. But like, this is a new asset, right? Like, so Hex for uh, an asset that's been around that has somewhat of a decent market cap, like, like that thing is outperforming a lot of the other assets. So I just want to point that out. Like, I know there's a lot of like talks about like certain people or whatever, like, but just do your research guys. Like to me, like I don't listen to any of that stuff. Like I'm, I, I'm very careful with my investments. So, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. World, world bet. I think you're the reason why I was like, Oh, it's like coin pumping. And then I wound up checking it after the stream and it was, um, uh, but yeah, uh, it's just, I just wanted to point that out. Like Hex is up 785% and not all the altcoins are up that much. So just, just realize that. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and find some of those levels, uh, to the downside that you guys, uh, can look at for some potential support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull a Fibonacci or not. I'm going to go ahead and pull a Fibonacci. There we go. Pull my fib. Let's go. Where's Dave digital. Is Dave digital here today? Dave, Dave, dad, dad. Dave? Is Dave not here today? It feels different without Dave. I'm not going to lie. Dave, if you're out there, please come back. Uh, but anyway, continuing on here, Golden Pocket from this entire move is coming in at about 0 0.068 cents, right? 0 0.068 cents. And I'm actually going to, uh, let's go ahead and pull a classic fib. Uh, there we go, right? So yeah, I would say your golden, yeah, I would say... Yeah, Golden Pocket, that should give you a yeah, 0 0.068 cents. Uh, Dave's not here, man. Dang it. Dave's not here. No, no. Dave. Fib drinking game. 
Let's go! Take a shot. Shout out to Darren. Uh, that's what I was looking for. He's usually the one uh, pushing that weird game that you guys play. I don't really know anything about it, but uh, apparently there's some game that goes on when I pull fibs. Uh, and apparently uh, they, they're, they, they don't like when I pull multiple fibs. Uh, so anybody playing that game today, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's pull a fib here. Let's pull a fib here. Probably should pull a fib from here to here. Uh, would pull a fib there. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, good luck. Uh, good luck sticking around to the rest of the stream. Uh, just kidding, guys. But um, Golden Pocket coming in at about 0 .069 cents is uh, a big level I would be looking at. And then, um, I mean, we could try to pull some. Uh, let's just pull up the VPVR on this and see if we can get uh, VR VP. Boom. Boom. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just zooming out here. Let's go to a higher time frame. Um, it's from Crypto Billy, and it's Friday's dr Okay, shout out to Darren Does Things. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, uh, another big, yeah, I would watch these fib levels. You don't, yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, you are hitting a little bit of support here at about, uh, uh but yeah, this is the 10 hour. Uh, yeah, I would say watch for that golden pocket. You may be able to, um. You know what I'm going to do? Let's pull up this. Let's pull up the... Uh, oh, you know what we could pull up? Let's go... Um, let's check it out, guys. Let's pacifier this thing. Uh, you know, I talk about this all the time. Okay. So, so, here you go. Uh, let's come to the four-hour. See where the smart trail is on the four-hour. So you, yeah. Okay, so... Smart Trail on Lux Algo has flipped bearish on the four hour. Now, this is typically, uh, I love looking at the Smart Trail on the four hour. When it flips bearish on the four hour, it typically does indicate uh, at least some more downside, right? So uh, you can see here last time Hex got an absolute rip. We came down, bounced off the Smart Trail, and then as soon as we started losing it, it flipped bearish, and that was the start of a very big downtrend, uh, which uh, this might be. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, right, get a, another big move. This one kind of got uh, chopped up. Obviously, the Smart Trail is going to work better in trending markets. Uh, so there you go, right? Boom, bounced it. Tapped it right here before coming up even higher. Um, and then, yeah, almost tapped it, almost tapped it. Then you tapped it, turns red. Uh, so, yeah, the fact that this is turning red could indicate that we have a little bit more downside. I would really watch this, uh, this golden pocket. And then on the 10-hour, flipping red as well. Not the best, uh, not the best sign to be 100% honest with you guys. This is probably going to be red. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I would watch that golden pocket. Um, I was looking if the smart trail was lower. Um, that is where I would kind of be like, hey, watch the smart trail. But it does look uh, maybe on some of the higher time frames. Um, yeah. So you are on the daily. I would watch this golden pocket. I would watch this golden pocket. That's likely going to be a very strong level if you can make it down there. Um, and then I will also go ahead and pull a, um, let's pull another more local fib from here. Uh, and yeah, see, so I'm not pulling it to this scam wick, uh, but I am pulling it uh, to the next uh, rational wick. And you can see we came down and tapped that level to the dollar. Uh, so you are actually approaching. Yeah, look at that. Look at that golden pocket touch. Look at that, man. Uh, but uh, let me just go ahead and hide uh, Lux Algo Premium real quick just to make it a little cleaner. Um, but didn't mean to pull that fib. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh, God, didn't mean to pull that one either. Sorry. I swear I'm not trying to mess with you guys. But anyway, uh, you guys can see here that, uh, you know, we are coming down to that more local golden pocket. So you are coming up to some decent support. Um, and let's see if we can get any bullish signals here. I mean, money flow coming out. Uh, but, yeah, four-hour VWAP is coming up. I think you could potentially get a bounce here, right? You could get a bounce off this golden pocket based off this uh, green dot looking to print on your four-hour very soon. However, overall, your money flow is coming down. Five hour money flow is coming out. VWAP is coming up. So more bearish in the medium term, uh, but the short term could be looking for a bounce. Take a look at your two hour money flow is coming out. Green dot is printing. So I think locally you could get a bounce here. Um, so I would look, uh, this is this golden pocket does come in at about eight cents. And then your golden pocket below comes in between about 0 0.069 cents and 0 0.064 cents, right? So uh, these are the major levels I would look for on hex, right? Golden pocket. Gold, and then you have your golden pocket slash 786. Uh, so these are the major levels of support. I would be looking for Hex if the bloodbath is going to continue. Um, but yeah, shout out to uh, shout out to Hex. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Love the alt TA. Shout out to Crypto Ginger. I appreciate that. Uh, Dave, Dave, yo, who did that? Somebody, I don't know who that is normally, but somebody changed their name to Dave Digital and said, Frankie, daddy's home. <laughs> What the? It's not Daddy Digital. It's Dave Digital. Shout out to whoever did that. I don't know who did it, but you guys are funny. Uh, too funny. 
Uh, Crypto Musso, what is going on, bro? Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and check out the. Uh, uh, <laughs> Crypto Billy said Dave Digital is probably eating spaghetti with all this sauce. Let's go. Shout out to Crypto Billy. Uh, uh, yo, Johnny Jackhammer says Dave is Mrs. Candles. Prove me wrong. Uh, and I will say this. I'm probably going to regret uh, bringing this back up. But guys, whoever was watching the morning show the other day when DZ was hosting and they called me up, uh, he called me up for TA. And um, when my segment came up and I, he goes, all right, Frank, come on, let's check it out. And uh, I just like rose up from under the under the desk. The second I popped up from under the desk, I, I thought it'd be funny. I'm like, oh, this is, it'll be silly if I crawl under the thing and then pop up from, you know, just be shock everybody. It'll be funny. As soon as I did it, I just grabbed the microphone and was like, I already regret doing that. Uh, so, yeah, it's funny. We were joking around. But, like, I was telling DZ, I was like, did you see everybody was roasting me for doing that? Uh, and I was like, I was like, I didn't need to start that, that whole thing because uh, they already think Mrs. Candles is fake. So, uh, but yeah, too funny. Too funny. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, but let's go. That was so funny. Captain saw it. I, I swear, guys, like I didn't do that with that in mind. Uh, I think we all know what I'm, you know. Uh, but it was it was funny. As soon as I did it, I was like, oh, God, why did I do that? That was such a dumb idea. It's never going to stop now. Uh, uh, did you have fun down there? Somebody's going to clip it. Don't clip it, guys. We deleted the episode, just so you know. That live stream's gone. Don't even look for it. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> Cryptotonic, man. Oh, God. Uh, you put no thought into that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it was like instant regret. As soon as I saw what it looked like, on, because I, as I was coming up, I could see the monitor and I could see what it looks like. And I came up and I was like, now they definitely don't think Mrs. Candles is real. I'm just going to have to bully Mrs. Candles on camera so you guys believe me one day. But uh, the first rule of under the desk is that you don't talk about what happens under the desk. It's going down in YouTube history. Well, anyway, guys, let's get back to the altcoins. Woo, woo, look over there, altcoin. Woo, bullish divergence. Look over there. Wow, woo. Did, I, did you guys forget? No? Dang it. Uh, <laughs> too funny. Uh, all right, then you went and told all of us that you missed it. Nice. Yeah, V-Slim, I kind of, uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, why did I bring that up? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm too, I'm an overshare, guys. I'm too open. Like, I should have just let that die. Because hey, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was like, people were laughing about it. Uh, but now on Monday, it's probably going to be like this big thing. There's going to be like a, uh, a deep fake about it. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue on with these altcoins, guys. <laughs> Absolute insanity. Shout out to Robbie. Sh sorry, Frank. You did this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Oh, hey, as long as uh, you guys are, uh, if you guys are getting enjoyment at my expense, I don't mind. Uh, but anyway, uh, but just for the record, guys, I did just crawl onto set. In case you guys really want to know, I just crawled on set and popped up. That's just all that's happened. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start knocking out this list. Let's take a look at ApeCoin, guys. We have not looked at ApeCoin in quite some time, um, so let's do it. Okay, uh, not looking great. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and pull a little bit of volume on this thing. Uh, yeah, nah, I'm actually going to pull it. I'm just going to pull it from this range. There you go. All right, so here is our range. Go ahead and extend it to the right. Let's take a look, right? Uh, very similar to a lot of these other coins at the value area low of the local range. Shout out to World Bet. I love you back. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. This is, uh, 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 I don't know who gifted me a membership, but thank you. I really appreciate it. Honestly, thank you. Shout out to Kelly Kaiser. Uh, uh, not to be confused with Kelly Kellum from BitLab Academy, guys. Don't forget to go check out Kelly's channel, uh, the BitLab Academy. Go check him out, guys. Uh, he's got a lot of really, really good information on that channel. Uh, and shout out to him. He's also an awesome dude. So uh, go check him out. But um, let's go ahead. 305 in the house. Shout out to you, bro. Bing bong. Or should I say, Mr. 305. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, sitting at the bottom of the uh, value area low here, guys. Very similar to a lot of these other things. Let's check that daily. Daily. Oh. No bullish divergence, but daily green dot printing. This is looking quite different than a lot of stuff uh, as far as the uh, uh, indicators go, right? Taking a look at the weekly. VWAP is coming up. Yeah, so Ape looks different than a lot of things. Uh, also, not enough information on these higher time frames to really get anything out of. Green dot looking for uh, to print on the three-day. And your two-day is printing a green dot. Interesting, interesting. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like ApeCoin is just going to rip while everything else dumps or if uh, if everybody, uh, 
if everybody, if all the other, all, if everything else is dumping, I don't expect, uh, you know, Ape to just pump off of this green dot on the two day. Uh, but that is more bullish looking than a lot of these other things. Daily green dot as well. Better than, all right, 16 hour red dot, 12 hour red dot looking to print. All right, just got real bearish real quick, guys. 10 hour red dot printing. Hopefully we don't have any, uh, God, do we have any, um, do we have any blood diamonds or anything? No blood diamonds. No, not on the 16 hour, not in the daily. Okay, not too bad. Uh, taking a look, 10 hour red dot printing, money flow in the red, your five hour money flow is crossing over into the red as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh four hour VWAP is below zero line. Yeah, this one, uh, higher time frames kind of look good like everything else. Uh, lower time frames, uh, yeah. Hard to call. You might kind of just kind of bing bong sideways here. Uh, money flow on the medium hourly time frames doesn't really look worse or better. Like money flow is in the red coming out where on a lot of the other time frames, money flow is in the green coming into the red. Uh, so like it's kind of just all bearish. Um, but I wouldn't expect this to do anything different than anything else. Uh, so again, if everything else looks bearish and everything else dumps, unless Ape gets like is going to pump off of some news or something, I'm not expecting anything too crazy out of this. Uh, but other than that, really your next local area of resistance is going to be your POC coming in at about $4.10. Uh, so that would be a level to watch. Try to get that perfect. There we go. Get it perfect. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, so there you go. Uh, about $4.10 is going to be your next major level of resistance. And then uh, just pull in. Uh, let's pull our fib from uh, these wicks. Yeah. I would, uh, yeah, I, would wa I would watch this level. I would watch that level if I was single. What? I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that would be your next major level of resistance. If you can hop above that level, guys, and get above that 786, I will say, I will say, that would be uh, that would make things look a lot better. But until, I don't know if you're really going to get over that. Uh, you got snake eyes on your 30 minute, but I don't know if that's enough to push you over that POC. You may just be coming up for a bearish retest. Uh, another level I would keep an eye on more locally uh, would be this more local golden pocket, which we're testing right now. So uh, this is another pretty big level of resistance that I would keep an eye on. Uh, so let me go ahead and change this color. So testing the golden pocket right now. A little bing, a little bong. Test that 786. I would look for a rejection there. However, however, if we get above it, right, if we get above this, I would then look up to this rejection zone right so if we don't reject here i would look for a potential rejection there right um so there you go those are basically the levels those are kind of like the local levels that i would be looking at on ape and again not really looking the hottest uh but looking better than everything else green dot on the daily green dot on the two day so looking better than everything else but not not that much better um so there you go uh let's see uh shout out to crypto crab man says edm fan and fan of music me too bro me too I uh, probably don't like my EDM. I feel like at this point in my life, the EDM I like is probably cringy to most people because uh, I was like really, 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 really early. Um, I, I, like I was really early into dubstep, like the dubstep scene. I was like super, super early to dubstep. I was also like listening to DJ Tiesto when I was in like elementary school. Uh, so like I, I do truly love EDM, um, but I'll be honest with you guys. I don't. A dubstep did something to me. Like dubstep is like, I don't know. Something special about dubstep to me. I just I don't really listen to it often anymore unless I'm at the gym, which uh, hasn't happened in a while. Uh, but uh, I used to listen to a ton of dubstep, and I just I just love dubstep. I again I don't listen to it on the regular. I listen to like hip hop mostly. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, DJ Tiesto, let's go. Uh, uh, I thought you like oldies from the 40s and 50s. I do. Hey, I will say this again. Not something I listen to often. It's not on my Spotify playlist, but. Uh, guys like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, like who doesn't like eating at a fancy Italian restaurant and just hearing like, like Dean Martin or Frank Sinatra in the background. You got to love that. I I'll be honest. I'm just a music fan. I like all, I can enjoy all music. Uh, but really like if you're going to look through my Spotify, you're going to see a lot of little baby. You're going to see a lot of, uh, uh, Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper ever. Best rapper alive. Changed my mind. Uh, I understand he's not the most popular, you know, he's not like the, he's not at super, he's not what he used to be, but definitely, definitely one of the best rappers alive. Uh, but my personal favorite, uh, I don't know how we got, uh, Louis Armstrong, let's go. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, saw Tiesto live in Vegas. Dude is an absolute beast. Let's go. Tiesto's from my country. Let's go. Tiesto. Wow. A lot of Tiesto fans. Let's go. Uh, 
Uh, go to a fish show. I'd be down to. I, I don't really listen to a lot of fish, but I but I wouldn't. I don't hate on them. Um, Swedish House Mafia. Yeah, let's go. Uh, dubstep from KMP episode from the key is dubstep from key KMP episode looks dangerous. Yeah. Shout out to Brad. Yep. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, uh, you know, I just, um, yeah, Wayne is excellent. Yeah. Let's go. JJ philosophy. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, I, I do listen to everything, but right now, like I'm listening to like a lot of like the newer hip hop. It's it, like got good again, right? Like hip hop, tur hip hop turned into garbage and then it got good again. Like little baby spits guys. If you don't like, if you like hip hop and you don't listen to little baby, uh, I recommend trying them out. Very good. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Lil Wayne has a lot of ghostwriters. Yeah. Uh, I actually went to uh, college with uh, a super, 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 uh, he's not super famous. He is a musician. His name's John Bellion. Um, I don't, or John Bellion. I don't know if anybody knows who he is, uh, but I went to college with this man. And uh, I remember seeing him hang out with his friends. I didn't know him, but I would see him hang out with his friends and he would like rap. Uh, but that guy, uh, I wound up being, I didn't know I knew who he was when I was in college. Um, and then I, I, I wound up, uh, becoming a fan of his and I was like, found out that I went to college with him and I remember seeing him. Um, but he's a ghost writer for, he, he wrote, uh, he wrote, uh, uh, like Justin Bieber's entire new album. Uh, and he's a ghost writer and he writes some huge, huge art. He writes for huge artists, Rihanna. Uh, Justin Bieber, uh, he writes some crazy, he's written some of the biggest hits ever recorded. Uh, just some kid I went to college with. It's crazy. He's also a musician himself. I actually like his music a lot. Uh, but yeah. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, continue on here, guys. Getting sidetracked by music. Shout out to all the music heads out there. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, Keat. Uh, that was eight. Let's take a look at Keat. Um, yeah, why, what is this? Why did this not... Uh... Okay, so we're not going to take a look at Keat. Keat doesn't exist. Uh, I don't know what that is. I remember that being like a thing last time. Let's take a look at uh, uh, Mina. Let's see. Let's see. Binance Tether US. Let's go. Uh, all right. Taking a look at the daily. Green, oh, green dot confirmed. Green dot confirmed. Money flow slightly curving back. Oh, my, money flow generally coming out. I don't want to say money flow is coming up here. Money flow is coming out on your daily. Uh, green dot is confirmed, but likely uh, not curving out yet. But money flow is coming out. That's not the best look. Money flow in your two-day is coming up. VWAP found some support on the zero line. However, if money flow starts curving off here, this would likely just be a lower high on your money flow. So not the best look. Is this a golden pocket retest? Look at that. Uh, uh, you know, if you pull it to the scam wicks, we didn't make it quite quite there. Uh, but if you pull it to these more rational wicks here, um, that is, yeah, there you go, right? So if we pull it to some actual regular candle wicks, uh, okay, yeah, so these are less scammy, right? Because the Heikinashis have more scammy wicks because they're averages, uh, but whatever. This is not a, a Heikinashi video, but uh, we are starting to test some uh, local golden pockets, so I uh, could wind up getting a rejection here. I would watch this level for a potential rejection. Um, a little bit of boom, a little bit of bang, a little bit of bong, a little bit of bing. There we go. So I would watch this level for a potential move to the downside. Uh, Two-day VWAP is curving back down, a little bit more bearish. Money flow on that three-day is looking for that crossover. However, that VWAP might step on it and bring it back down into the red a little bit more. Um, but coming up to some of these higher hourly time frames, red dot printing on your 16-hour, red dot looking to print on your 12-hour very, very soon. Taking a look at your 45-minute money flow coming out, 90-minute money flow coming out, and your one hour crossed into the red. It's back in the green. Uh, however, look at that. It's like matched up exactly with your VWAP. Uh, yeah, when this crosses back over, if this one-hour money flow comes back into the red with that 16-hour red dot, that might be somewhat of a bearish sign. Um, but let's go ahead and pull a little bit of a local range here. A little boom, a little bing. Uh, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, we can take a look at dot. Shout out to uh, Whole Digital. Let's go. Um, uh, but yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, kind of just, you know, again, sitting somewhat near the local uh, value area low, but we are testing that point of control as we speak. Uh, so if we can get above that POC, I would look to get a move up to our value area high coming in at about 88 cents. POC coming in at about 83 cents, and your value area low is coming in at about 79 cents, right? So these are basically the local levels I would be looking at. Uh, major, major, major resist, or I wouldn't say major, 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 uh, but local golden pocket retracement. If we do get a move up and we do wind up deviating out of our 
uh, uh, value area into this box, I would look for a rejection off the 786. If we, I, I wouldn't really be expecting higher prices until we broke that 786 held support and started moving up. Uh, so there you go. Those are the levels I would be looking at on Mina. Uh, and then again, you know, money flow generally coming out on a lot of these time frames. Uh, and then your daily, again, uh, you know, money flow is generally coming out. So it kind of looks very similar to a lot of other things. Um, all right, let's go ahead. And uh, Kevin Baker wants STX. We could try to uh, we could try to add that as well. Um, and uh, all right, let's see. Uh, are you subscribed to Hit Network Gaming? Uh, Thirty nine percent said yes. Uh, no, going to do that right now. Thirty three percent of you said you were going to do that, and then seventeen percent said no, going to do that right now, and then nine percent said no, going to do that right now. So it seems like everybody here should be subscribed to the channel. Let's see, we got seven hundred people in here. That should easily get Joel to 1,000 subscribers. So I guess Joel's at 1,000 subs. So I guess we got to give away a month of free premium membership, right? Let me know if he's at 1,000 subs. Somebody let me know. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and continue on here. Um, let's go. Uh, let's move on. Uh, all right. Next one is going to be Arb. Let's check out Arbitrum. Uh and there you go. Uh, it goes up and goes down. All right, next. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, there's no, uh, yeah. Uh, this is going to be almost impossible to do TA on. I'd have to do like TA on these micro time frames. Uh, but there you go. Absolutely, uh, yeah, absolutely nuke to the floor. Uh, but yeah, I would say uh, uh J-Rod says, I got three triple-digit shorts, LFG. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate you. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, Bufo on the beat said, Frankie, do I have to contact your business manager to get added to your Spotify playlist? Uh, no, Bufo on the beat. You can just go ahead and DM me some songs. Or, or is it just Bufo on the beat? Can I look up you, Bufo on the beat, on Spotify? Will I find you? Let me know. Um, all right, let's go ahead and continue on. Um, He's at 767 subs. Oh, baby. We can... Oh, let's go. Shout out to Arush Kapoor. Thank you for subscribing, man. I appreciate you. I think you mean you subscribe to Hit Network Gaming. Thank you very much, bro. Uh, um, <laughs> yo, chemistry, bro. Says, so, Frankie, I've been wondering, where TF are these hoodies? Uh, Chem, bro. Uh, uh, at Tony D. At Tony D, uh, let's actually talk about that uh, on Monday or maybe tonight when I see you. Uh, let's uh, let's try to expedite these hoodies because uh, I actually feel like we were right about to get them done and then it's kind of falling apart. We got a lot going on, Kembro, but hey, they're coming. They are coming. They haven't been forgotten, uh, but they there have things have gotten in front of the in front of the hoodies in the priority list, uh, but they have not been for forgotten. Um, all right, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, Arbitrum. Let's see. Yeah, uh, guys, this one's going to be, I'll be honest, this one's going to be hard because, you know, as soon as you, you know, come up to the, uh, you know, come to the one hour, there's no information. You got a one hour green, the first, the first ever one hour green dot on Arbitrum. Um, uh, fairly big to check the seven to 10 minute bull divs. Let's go. Oh yeah. Nice little bull div on your 10 minute. That actually doesn't look bad, Kembro. These look like nice bull divs. Not going to lie. Money flow coming up. And you got in, you clipped it right, yeah, you clipped it, like, right on the last little, ooh, that might be a good entry, Kembro. Uh, a lot of times when you can clip, and if you can get an entry in, uh, you know, if you're able to, like, scoop a fire entry here, and you get in, like, right on the last 25% uh, of the money flow crossover, sometimes that winds up being, like, the best entry. Um, so, interesting, yeah. I, I, yeah, not the worst, not the, I, that doesn't look bad, man. Five minutes coming up as well, three minutes starting to cross, looking for a crossover into the green. Interesting, we'll have to keep an eye on it, we'll have to keep an eye on it, but yeah, I mean, shout out to Kembro. I mean, you got 12-minute bull divs, 15-minute bull divs, I, I mean, that that's about all we can see, 24-minute bull div, yeah, 24-minute bull div, uh, so it may get a little bit of a bounce here, uh, but not enough information to do uh, any like real sustainable TA for longer than these shorter time frames. So uh, let's go. Um, yeah, world bet for the most part. Yeah, it's just really hard to do TA on these super, uh, these super super old coins. Shout out to G Man says, uh, can we take a look at Quant? Shout out to G Man, bro. Thank you for being here. Uh, 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 we can try. We can try. We do have a lot to do for the giveaways today. We may run out of time. We are coming up to the end here. We're going to have to start uh, running that wheel in a second. Uh, but let's take a look at Grail, and then we'll take a look at Adam, take a look at the BitGet chart. Ooh, little bing bong. Oh, got a little bing bong to the upside on the 24-minute. Let's go. Uh, take a look at the daily. Um, yeah, let's go. Shout out to Kembro. Hopefully that one works out for you, bro. It looks nice. It looks nice. 
Um, all right, let's continue. Uh, all right, uh, Grail going to zero. Let's go. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. Not going to zero. Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, VWAP is coming up on your eight hour. Take a look. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Take a look at your four hour green dot or five hour green dot looking to print. Four hour green dot getting even closer to print. I think you could get a local. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That four hour looking to print. Uh, money flow is coming out, right? So that's kind of overall bearish. Uh, but that V, uh, that VWAP coming up could give you a short term bounce. Looking for that green dot with the 15 minute money flow coming up. Nice little pop ski to the upside here. Um, take a look at the higher time. Yeah. It's just not a lot of, not a lot of information on some of these coins. Um, yeah, I would say, let's see a money flow crossing over into the red on the 16 hour and the 12 hour. Yeah, I, I would I, money flow is coming out on a lot of the time frames, right? Yeah, three hours are gonna cross over. Yeah, it does look a little bit more bearish to me, you know, with the money flow on the four hour coming out, money flow on the ten hour coming out, twelve hour crossing into the red, sixteen hour crossing into the red. Uh, not really a ton of information here, guys, uh, uh, to really kind of like do a full legitimate analysis. Uh, but I would s probably lean a little bit more bearish just with the way that money flow looks on everything. You are getting that golden pocket retest right now, tapping it to the dollar here. Um, so yeah, I would, uh, you could potentially get a little bit of support here. Like I said, with that four hour green dot looking to print, might get a bounce off that golden pocket. Uh, cause you are, that is a decent level of support. So yeah, I would look for a little bit of a local bounce here. Um, right on that local golden pocket with the four hour green dot. But other than that, it is not, uh, not looking that great with the money flow. Uh, and I'm sorry that's kind of vague, but, uh, just not a lot of price action here to look at. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, what videos are the giveaways coming from uh, at mods? At mods, uh, let us know in the chat. Shout out to Thesis himself. Uh, I'm in my shop, sanding my wood, and all I can think of is pulling my fib. Shout out to Thesis. Says, hashtag ban yellow X's, hashtag down with red dots, and hashtag straight to jail right away. All uh, right, shout out to Thesis, bro. Uh, shout out to you, man. Uh, I saw you popped up on my computer the other day, and uh, I checked out some of your stuff, bro. Uh, you're a cool dude. Shout out to Thesis. We love you, bro. Absolute OG of the channel. Shout out to you, man. Um, all right. And thank you for that super chat, bro. I love that. Straight to jail. Right away. Right away. Uh, you sell, uh, you know, you overcook a fish. Uh, straight to jail. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Thesis. And uh, yeah, bro. Uh, hey, look at this. You say yellow X's don't exist. Yeah, it looks like this one got wrecked. <laughs> look at this. If, Thesis, this is a perfect time for you to super chat that. Hey, look, I'm a yellow X. Dump it. Dump it. Dump it. Ah! And just got absolutely wrecked. Yellow X wrecked. And then this yellow X thought he was tough, uh, but the floor was right there. He tried to shove it down, but the floor was right there. Shout out to Thesis himself. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for being here. Um, all right, guys. Let's go ahead and move on. Take a look at Adam. A little bing bong. Take a look at the Coinbase chart. Uh, let's go. Uh, I am bullish on Adam, guys. Uh, Adam was one of my bigger bags in the 2021 bull run. I did very well with it. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, I do think it, I I think um I I think it's going to I think it's going to be uh I think it's going to do well do well this cycle, right? Uh because I think that uh we we're going to need right we have so many different blockchains at this point, especially going into the next bull run, like we haven't even gotten the influx of new things coming in, uh the people who are just making stuff uh you know when things are hot and then they disappear in the bear market. Uh but I do think it's going to kind of be uh, we need a, we need a way for all these blockchains to kind of interconnect, um, and I think I, I think Adam is going to be uh, uh, it might be you know a little bit of a, a narrative in the next bull run. Um, but I will say this: everyone always says, "Do you think AI is going to be the next big thing in the next bull run?" I'll say this: um, Yeah, it's a great layer one for sure. Uh, but uh, hey, light a candle under Matic; it's been stuck. Shout out to you, Michael. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will say this: um, What was I going to say? I feel like I'm brain farting a lot uh, recently. Hmm. I oh, uh, people always say, uh, "Do you think AI is going to be the the next big thing in the in the bull run?" And uh, my answer to that is, I think the thing that goes absolutely nuts, whatever that narrative is, whatever that sector is, uh, is it you know it was DeFi at one point, it was NFTs at another point, it was meme coins at another point. Um, I don't think, I don't think that uh, we're really going to know. Uh, what that is until it comes, right? Um, maybe AI is a narrative for the next bull run. I, I, I think there are AI coins that will do good, but I think the AI, uh, like the the crazy AI run, like the, do you think AI coins are going to go nuts? 
Like, I think that happened already. I think that's, like, what we kind of just saw in the bear market where, like, all these AI co coins just ran up. I do think it could be a continuing narrative, but I don't know if it's going to be the actual, uh, like, the big, big, big narrative of the bull run. Uh, and shout out to Thesis himself and said that yellow X, that yellow X went straight through jail. Uh, yeah, shout out to you, bro. Uh, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. If we get 850 likes, which I don't even know if this math adds up. I don't, I don't even know if everybody in here hit the like button if we would get 850 likes. But if we get 850 likes, likes or Joel gets to a thousand subscribers I will give away at least one month of free premium membership maybe two and then maybe if we get both I, I might give away maybe more than that and then we'll also make it rain memberships uh but we'll see uh but we do want to focus I mean smash that like button but we also really really want to get Joel to a thousand subscribers let's go um all right let's go ahead and uh uh, let's go ahead and continue on here. So taking a look at Adam, taking a look at the daily. Daily is giving us uh, rejection at the uh, VWAP rejection at the zero line vibes. Uh, not great. A little bit of a rejection there. Money flow is looking very bearish as well. So the daily is going to be a bearish uh, vote for me. Um, did you get the golden pocket retest? You did, right? Breakdown, bearish retest. That's where you want to enter the short and bang, right? Uh I don't know if there was an actual short setup there. Let's see. Did you get any? Uh, there it is, right? Two. Look at that. Two-hour bear div at that golden pocket. That is it, right? That is what I would have been looking at if I were looking for shorts here. Uh, so there you go. Nice little uh, bear div. Could have played out nicely there, too. Get into a, uh, you know, you could have just put it above the last swing high and then, uh, you know, could have target those lows down there potentially. Uh, super, you know, that, that's not like we're doing, you know, it's already played out. Uh, but uh, take a look there. That is going to be uh, and continue to be strong resistance. Uh, daily does not look that great. 16 hour red dot is confirmed. Money flow looks bearish. 12 hour VWAP is below that zero line, uh, has been since uh, March 18th, just completely getting stuck underneath uh, the zero line. Take a look at your 10-hour red dot confirmed, your 8-hour red dots confirmed, money flow coming out on your 6-hour, money flow crossing over into the red with a confirmed blood diamond on your 4-hour, definitely looking more bearish, like everything else for the most part. Um, so yeah, kind of hard to find your local range. There really is no local range here, but what I can do is... Uh, I can go ahead and pull a little bit of a Fibonacci, a little bit of a Fibonacci for you guys. A little bada boom, bada bing. There you go. Coming down to some support, right? So uh, let's see. Maybe we'll pull on this. Uh, we'll pull some wonky volume, as you guys know we love to call it. Wonky volume. No clear range here. Uh, but there you go, right? Um, yeah. like Yeah. That's real wonky volume. I would, I would really watch this. This, uh, you know, this is definitely going to be strong resistance. Um, but then, yeah, I would, I would go ahead and, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to call here, right? Uh, support on your golden pocket would be somewhat likely, but I just don't know if you're going to hold it long term. Uh, let's pull up that VPVR. Yeah. If you lose that golden pocket, you can see as soon as you turn on the volume, guys, this is why I love the volume. Cause like we're sitting here, I feel like I'm blind without my volume, right? Uh, like get rid of the volume. Like, oh, I don't know what's going on. What happens if we break this level? What's going to happen? Well, I, I don't know. But then you turn on your VPVR, and now you – this is why I call it X-ray vision into the market because now we know if we lose this golden pocket, volume gap is initiated and could make for a very quick move, right? If we break below here and can't get back above, may make a quick move for it. this high volume node slash 786 FIB level at about, uh, you know, uh, basically $10 even. So $10 could be incoming for Adam if things remain bearish. Uh, and again, four-hour money flow crossing over into the red. Uh, you know, that last money flow crossover into the red wound up being pretty brutal, giving us about a 24% move to the downside. Now, we don't even need a 24% move to get to $10. We only need a 10% move, so definitely possible. Uh, if we did get a 24% move, it would bring us all the way back down to these lows. Uh, but there's no guarantees uh, that we... Uh, no guarantees that we'll make it down there, but uh, next major level I would look is that high volume node slash seven eight six coming in at about ten dollars. Uh, all right, let's see, um, let's see, let's see. Uh, bada boom, what do we got? All right, we are about an hour and forty two minutes into the stream, guys. Uh, I do just want to cover these last altcoins that we got. Um, uh, the altcoins are in. Just for anybody about to super chat right now, just a heads up: the altcoins are in. Uh, we're, we're, uh, I'm just gonna, the ones we're looking at have already been called, uh, so we're, we're, uh, because we gotta get into these, uh, 
uh, we got to get into uh, these spins, right? Uh, all right, so I do want to take a look at OMG. Shout out to TJ Eddinger. Uh, thank you for being here, bro. And this one's for you. Getting a nice little bounce off that value area high. Uh, but let's go ahead and dig in here. So we have our daily money flow coming out. Okay. Uh, daily money flow coming out. Green Dot is printing. However, I don't know. I mean, you are getting a move to the upside, which is interesting. But that money flow is definitely bearish, right? So that is definitely bearish money flow. Take a look at your 16-hour. 16-hour money flow is in the red. Let's check a look at the four-hour. Four-hour looking for the red dot. No bear div. Money flow coming out. This looks very similar to a lot of every or looks similar to everything else for the most part. Um, so I would, uh, I would be, uh, I would lean a little bit more bearish on this. And let me go ahead and turn these levels off real quick. A little bing, bong, boom. Um, and there we go. So uh, let's see. Uh, hey, no problem, TJ. I got you, bro. Um, but, uh, again, daily money flow is coming out. Your four hour money flow is coming out. What's your 90 minute doing? Yeah. Oh, 90 minute money flow coming back up, which is interesting because we have that daily green dot. Yeah, I would say it looks somewhat different. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, golden pocket, golden pocket. Uh, yeah. So we came up to tap that golden pocket. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let me find you guys some support levels on this thing. I would, uh, yeah. Here you go. This is, uh, this is your major support level. This one was a little easier to find. This is your support, right? If you lose this level, you lose this seven eight six or this, uh, or this high volume node. Big, big volume gap. Uh, just a giant goose egg here. Uh, so that would, uh, that could potentially give you a quick move all the way back down to retest these highs that we made all the way back here. Um, so if you do work your way down here, you really really want to just start creating a range here or something uh because you don't want to lose this blue box if you wind up coming down below this blue box you may get a quick move down to retest these highs from back here uh and that is going to be and there's really not much uh between the bottom of that blue box in here so it may happen very quickly uh and then to the upside you do have this local golden pocket coming in at about two dollars and 19 cents and that 786 does come in at about 235 and those are going to be your key levels other than that Again, until the money flow on the four hour and the daily, that four hour red dot could bring you down further. But until the money flow on these medium time frames winds up looking better, I do have to lean sideways bearish on a lot of these coins. Um, uh, <laughs> Creators Crypto says Frankie C featuring Candelinas. Candelinas, let's go. Shout out to uh, Creators Crypto, Candelina. Let's go. Matthew Barnes, you missed the Candelinas, bro. Let's go. Uh, uh, all right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to have to go ahead and get these uh, these spins started because we are running out of time. Uh, Dot, I just, just want to take a quick look at Dot, I'm sure. It's probably looking very similar to a lot of these other things, but let's go ahead and take a look. We can go ahead and pull our range here. A lot of these coins are a lot easier to find ranges on than others. Um, but yeah, we do have a bit of volume in here. Again, very similar to everything else, sitting at the value area low of the range. So again, Short-term bounces are not unlikely, guys. Short-term bounces are not unlikely, so watch for the short-term bounce off the value area low. Uh, but very similarly, guys, very similarly, I would watch this level. It is a value area low, uh, but I bet you there's a golden pocket right below that uh, value area low. Bada boom, there it is. Uh, now, I think I spent too much time on the charts, guys. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do things. I'm like, I bet you there's something right here. Not even Golden Pockets, but just other stuff. I just kind of like front run actually seeing things on the chart. And I'm like, I bet this is what the case is. And it usually is. And every time I say it, I'm always kind of like low key, like embarrassed. I'm like, oh God, people, people are going to know I have no life now. Um, but anyway, uh, but you can see same deal here for the most part. Um, now, not as much of a giant goose egg, but we do have a big fall off of volume. So if we do come down here and we are unable, looks like you could potentially print a little bit of a bull div here as the VWAP is coming up on your four hour. Uh, so if you can come down and put in a lower low here, could potentially put in a um, could potentially put in a bull div here uh, for a bounce to the upside. However, if you lose that golden pocket, that's where things get uh, a little bit more bearish because you'll likely come down to retest. S excuse me. Come down to retest uh, this level down here. You have a 786 FIB level, and uh, that is coming in at about $5.72. So I would look for that uh, to be your next level of support below that golden pocket. And again, there isn't much between you, so you might get that move to happen pretty 
fast. Uh, so there you go. There's some quick, quick levels. I'll go ahead and mark these out in case you want to screenshot them really quickly. Uh, uh, but yeah, that is, uh, we got to get to these spins. So if you want to grab those levels, uh, but again, you know, money flow in the four hour has just crossed into the red. So short term bounce with that VWAP coming up is not impossible. Uh, but the money flow is telling a more bearish story, right? Your five hour is about to cross into the red as well. You have a confirmed blood diamond up here. Uh, and then, uh, on the daily, red dot confirmed money flow in the red. Definitely a little bit more of a bearish look. Uh, but now you guys have the levels to look at. Uh, and with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get these. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get these spins going. Um, let's go wheel of pain and pleasure. Let's get it. Uh, how many likes did we get? Uh, bada boom, uh, bada bing. Move that chat over here. Let's see, we got 532 likes, so we got five spins. Guys, don't forget, shout out to CoinLedger. Uh, if you guys are interested in doing your crypto taxes, CoinLedger can help you uh, by making it much, much easier and simpler because uh, you don't want to be messing up your crypto taxes and then you got to owe money and it's an ugly thing. Um, uh, but yeah, definitely check out CoinLedger. We will be uh, putting out a video on CoinLedger uh, and thanks to CoinLedger for sponsoring the channel. We are, uh, we are sponsored by CoinLedger, um, but... I am going to be doing a pre-recorded video uh, next week about Coin Ledger, showing you guys more in depth on how to use it uh, and what you can use or uh, what you can use it for. Right, uh, so definitely keep an eye out for that because I know tax season is absolutely uh, creeping up on us here, uh, or it's here. Uh, shout out to Pearls, what's going on, Pearls? I miss you already, bro. Uh, uh, but shout out to Pearls. He said, "Let's get some pain and pleasure." Let's go. Shout out to Pearls, man. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, check it out here. Uh, bada boom, bada boom. Um, all right, spin numero uno. Let's get it, baby. Mrs. Candles! She probably, she probably, like, it's like rolling her eyes at me. Hello, Mrs. Candles. Why is your hair wet? Oh, she took a shower. All right, here we go. Spin numero dos. Let's get it, baby. Oh, funny enough. Funny enough, I have a, a little baby video up. I didn't even see that happening. Uh, right on by little baby. Great song. Um, all right, continuing on here. Let's go. Creepy taxes. Shout out to Brad Guidel. Let's get it. Uh, uh, let's see. Arush Kapoor says, is the 786 powerful or the golden pocket? I find them both uh, very, very reliable fib levels. Um, uh, so, yeah, I, I would say the golden pocket is probably, a little, probably stronger than the 786. The golden pocket is really, really where I like to get trades from. Um, but the 786, a lot of times when you push past the golden pocket, that 786 you will get a reaction from. Uh, <laughs> yo, Matthew Barnes, uh, hope so, hopefully that made sense for you. Uh, but Matthew Barnes said, paging Mrs. Candles. Uh, is that a, uh, is that a, is that a uh, uh, hangover reference? Paging Mrs. Candles. Shout out. Shout out to the, shout out to uh, Mrs. Candles. Mrs. Candles just sarcastically laughed. Unbelievable. The, uh, the sass on her, guys. The sass. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, we got four giveaways. Oh, no. We got three giveaways. Bang. Give them a fifth one. Uh, but it's really just four. We got five spins. Uh, four giveaways. Let's get it. 552 likes. Uh, almost the exact amount of watchers that we have. But uh, let's go ahead and pull up our comment picker mods. Uh, I just typed in mods instead of uh, comment pickers. Um, if you guys can let me know... What video we got to do, uh, what video we got to say, watch, count on, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, pick from, there we go. Thank you, Mrs. Candles. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let, just let me know in the chat real quick. Uh, the first one, oh, to enter tonight's giveaway, like and comment on this video. And uh, let's see. This video is, I think it's the, is the bottom in video. Uh, has Bitcoin bottomed out? There we go. Okay, so we got it. Uh, has, oh no, can you guys hear that? Just playing YouTube videos in the background. Um, there we go. All right, so we're, uh, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds to like and comment on that video to get your entries in. And, uh, and then I, yeah, we'll wait like 15 seconds and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let it go. Uh, oh yeah, let me see, uh, mods. Let's see. Okay. I'm sure, uh, yeah, I'm almost positive that, uh, Tyler Jordan has probably already said it and I missed it. Like and comment on the link that's pinned. Uh, prize is going to be Cardano. 10 bags of 3x ADA. So there's going to be 10 winners. Mrs. Candles, thanks you, Tyler. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, brother. Um, all right, let's go. I need more ADA. Zach, uh, Zach Jernigan, uh, we are going to root for you. You are our uh, daily or weekly 
Candle Mafia member that we root for to win the giveaways. We always just pick a random uh, a random Candle Mafia member, and we just, I mean, it doesn't help you at all. We just root for you to win. Uh, it doesn't, it's not like you get, like, an extra entry or anything, but we just go, come on. Come on, uh, uh, come on, Zach. Let's go. Come on, Zach. We want you to win, bro. Uh, but, hey, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and pull it. Here we go. Paste the link. Hopefully, you guys got your entries in. Include reply comments. No. Filter duplicate users. Uh, 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 and remove winner from list after they draw. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Nine plus two. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Candles. It's 11. Uh, and if you guys didn't know, Mrs. Candles is uh, shockingly, shockingly short. Uh, she's actually only uh, only one and a half feet tall. So uh, that's why I'm looking down at her. Shout out to Coin Ledger. Let's go. <laughs> it's funny, guys, because these are I uh, like I don't set these ads up to pop up, but we are sponsored by Coin Ledger. But it's just really funny that when we pick these winners, they always pop up. So it's like uh, you know they get uh, extra attention. Let's go. Um, all right, here we go. One. Winner numero uno. Who's it gonna be? Dalik. Okay. Ah. You guys think he's a scammer or what? <laughs> or she's a scammer? Um, all right. Winner. Numero. Uno. Bot. It's a bot, guys. Get out of here. If Lucho entered, I give up. Shout out to Matthew Barnes. Is Lucho here? Lucho's going to randomly appear right now. Uh, all right. Winner. Numero. Numero. Uno. Let's get it. Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. Legend Football said, can't deny the fact. Oh, my God. These people. Guys, I deleted 150,000 scam comments yesterday. And uh, we're just getting wrecked today. Here we go. Winner. Numero uno. Let's go. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Learning. Hey, shout out to Learning. Uh, guys, I get notifications that Learning is commenting on our videos at like 2 in the morning. And uh, it always says like it's 2 in the morning. One more video down. So Learning is named very appropriately because they are literally out there learning uh, and just knocking out uh, oh, shout out to G-Man. We'll see you later, bro. Thank you for being here. Uh, Mr. 305, shout out to G-Man. Uh, but um, Mrs. Candle said, don't be weird. Uh, but shout out to Learning, Absolute Savage. I see you out there putting in the work, studying the videos. Uh, and trust me, you are going to wind up enjoying the fruits of your labor. Uh, I don't know why I did that, guys. I just, that random ad had an orange in it. And it was just sitting on the screen. So I just had to, I don't know. Anyway, Mrs. Candles is touching me. Oh, sorry. She said, stop being weird. Uh, all right. There you go. Shout out to learning. Go ahead and reach out to. Don't reach out. Go to the Discord and go to the giveaway section to get your free giveaway. Let's go. Shout out to learning. Um, all right. Winner number toe. Toe. Winner number toe, fungus. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Sky Crypto says, bing bong. Shout out to Sky Crypto. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for the bing bong and that heart emoji. Go ahead into the Discord, the free Discord, to the giveaway section to get your free giveaway. Uh, next winner. Here we go. Bing bong. Boom, baby. Ryish Scoundrel says, if sauce was currency, I'm in the bank of Frankie. Let's go. Shout out to Ryish. Thank you for being here, bro. Thank you for being a part of the Candle Mafia. And thank you for the nice comment. Hey. Nice bike. I almost said I almost said hog. That made me feel weird though. So I had to say bike. Uh, nice motorcycle is what I'm talking about. Mrs. Candles give me the, the stink eye right now. Uh, but shout out to you, Ryesh. I appreciate you for being here. You've been here for like ever, and I do appreciate you. Thank you so much. And with that being said, let's go ahead and pick our next winner. Go to the Discord to the giveaway section to claim your prize. Here we go. Come on, Zach. You could do it, Zach. Let's go, Zach. Hey. Ill Hero, let's get it. Shout out to Ill Hero. I appreciate you for being here. He says, bing bong, right? Because he's got the little accent over the O. So it's bing bong. Shout out to Ill Hero. Thank you for being here, bro. Thank you for always showing support. And uh, uh, oh my God, I thought it meant Ill Hero entered 327 times. I was like, dang, that wound up working out for you. Uh, but shout, <laughs> shout, out to, uh, shout out to Ill Hero. I really, really do appreciate you, man. Uh, but uh, thank you for the bing bong. I'm going to have to start saying it like that. Bing bong. Uh, thanks for the uh, support, man. Thank you for always being here. Absolute OG. Head into that free Discord, which I know you're in. I think you're in. And head over to the, the giveaway section to get your free crypto. And every time we reset this, guys, there's always a new curious face. Like, who is this guy? I don't know, but he's definitely calcul calculating his crypto taxes. Uh, all right, here we go. Next winner. Come on, Zach. We got We're going to pull for you, Zach. Ruade, let's go. Shout out to Ruade. said, great video, Frankie. Ruade, thank you for being here, man. You've been here for a long time as well. You deserve the dang giveaway. Hit that Discord. 
get to the giveaway section and get your free Cardano. Uh, I was told that we're not giving away Algo or XRP anymore because I think it's better for you guys because a lot of XRP addresses uh, require you to hold a certain amount of XRP in the wallet. So, uh, so it's like you got to spend uh, – you know, if we send you the XRP, you're going to only be able to withdraw part of it because a lot of wallets uh, require a minimum amount of XRP to have in the wallet. Uh, it's annoying. Uh, so it's going to be Ada. Shout out to Ruade. Thank you for being here, bro. I do appreciate you so much. Uh, and let's get it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Frankie's Energy is the only reason I'm still awake and <laughs> at 1.37 a.m. in Cape Town. Let's go. Shout out to Synergy TV. <sighs> It's all the Aztec and Cactus Moss water, man. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, glad I'm able to keep the energy flowing. Tell Mrs. Candles to keep her hands off your candle while you're on camera, bro. <laughs> she says, Mrs. Candles goes, Jesus. Uh, shout out to you. <laughs> Boopo on the beat. You're funny, bro. Uh, hook up a Strong Island boy, Frankie. Let's go. Blockchain brawler. Yo, where are you at? Let me know. Where are you at from uh, in Long Island? Were you near me? I don't know if you know where I was. Uh, my nose is, like, itchy. I feel like my nose is bleeding. Um... Let me know. Let me know where uh, on Long Island you're from, bro. I'd love to know. Because uh, every time someone's like, oh, I'm from New York, I feel like every time I do that, I, that like we wind up narrowing it down and narrowing it down and then find out we live next door to each other. So uh, let me know in the chat where you're from, bro. Uh, and shout out to Ruade. Thank you for being a part of the Candle Mafia and get in that free Discord and get your free ADA. Let's go. Winner number... Uh, Mrs. Candles. She's slacking. Number six. Let's go. Winner number six. Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. Let's go. Dion, gang. Let's go. 18K by the end of April. Uh, Dion. Dion, gang. Dion, gang. That's got to be how you say it, right? Uh, bro, let's go. Let's go. 18K by April. I would love that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's not going to happen, but please, I hope it does. Let's go. Shout out to you, man. Uh, yeah, Aeon said, <laughs> Mrs. Candle's getting to know the D-Gen mafiosos. Let's get it. Uh, 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 where is, um, oh, God, you guys are funny. Uh, oh, Brooklyn, Mikey L, Brooklyn in the house. Uh, who else said, uh, hook up a Strong Island boy? I forget the name. Come on. Um, uh, who was it? Uh, Blockchain Brawler, that's who it was. Yeah, let me know. Blockchain, oh, yeah, uh, Stony Brook. What's up, bro? Let's go. Stony Brook, super close. Uh, Port Jefferson area, what about you? Uh, I was from the Comac area, so not far away, bro. Not far away. Too funny, man. Small world. Small world, big internet. Uh, shout out to Blockchain Brawler. Let's go. Next winner, Dion. Go ahead and hit that Discord. Get your free uh, Cardano, and thank you for being part of the Candle Mafia. You can be a part of the Candle Mafia and the Dion gang. It's okay, as long as you don't double dip, as long you know, do what you got to do for them, do what you got to do for the family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to you. Get to the Discord and get your free Ada, bro. Uh, hey, I'm just saying, does the Dion gang give you free Cardano? I don't know. And so you just, it's like Dion gang, Candle Mafia. I don't know. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for the support. Get in that free Discord and get your free Ada. Winner number seven, let's go. Yeah, Crypto Killer Whale said nothing, but nothing stronger than the 702. Let's get it. Shout out to Blockchain Backer. Is that the one that he likes, the 702? I think it is. Uh, he was talking about that on Ben's show. Superman Socks. Let's go. I guess he's got a lot of Superman Socks. Uh, shout out to you, man. Thank you for that Fuego emoji. Getting that free Discord. And uh, head to the, uh, hey, Kenny's from Riverhead. Let's go. Mikey L said, book tour in Ronkonkoma. Let's go. You guys are funny. You guys are funny. Dang. Oh, dude, so you're from Riverhead. You're not far away from me either. Um, I've actually lived in a lot of, uh, you Yankee or Met fan, Frankie. I mean, I'm a Met fan. I'm not a sports guy, though. No, I, I'm, I'm not a sports guy. Like, when I was a kid, I liked the Mets, uh, but I'm not a sports guy at all. So, like, I, uh, to be 100% honest, I couldn't care less. Um, I liked the Mets when I was a kid, and they always got wrecked. So it made me always want to be a Yankees fan, but I felt like I couldn't switch. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, just not really a big, big sports guy, to be 100% honest with you. But, uh, yeah, uh, Ron Conkham is real close. Stony Book's real close. Uh, but, yeah, man, uh, I've kind of lived – I've lived in a lot of places on the island. Uh, but, yeah, most of my time was spent in Comac, uh, Comac Huntington area. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue on. Um, he's a New Jersey Nets fan. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Superman Socks, uh, for the Fuego emoji. Getting that free Discord to get your free Ada. And thanks for watching. And speaking of uh, Superman Socks, can I share something personal with the Mafia right now? Uh, guys, I have a sock uh, dilemma going on. I woke up this morning, and I'm just a normal guy, right? Like, like uh, you know, I, I know I'm like behind the glass. I'm like in the TV to you guys, but I'm really basically like other than just being a weirdo, uh, I'm basically a normal dude. Uh, so I woke up this morning. And there was no socks. 
And uh, <laughs> this is canceled. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. But I just woke up. There was no socks. So, guys, look what I'm wearing. No, I'm not wearing your socks, Mrs. Candles. Uh, if you watch out, you're going to get kicked in the face. All right, here we go, guys. I actually have a, a, a sock dilemma. I'm wearing, like, wool socks. I'm wearing, like, winter wool socks. Hey, check out the kicks, baby. Let's go. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm wearing these, like, wool socks. Uh, check this out. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I had to fold them over because they're, like, wool winter socks, guys. These are, like, these are not just, like, long socks. They're, like, literally thick. They're, like, two inches thick, and they're hot. And uh, I'm wearing these in the Georgia heat. Uh, so that's just funny. Shout out to Superman socks. Uh, all right, winner number eight. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing normal about you, boss. Shout out to Crimson Caravan Company. Uh, <laughs> I Crane said I heard her say, don't show them. Thigh highs, let's go. Uh, yes, Mrs. Candles is from uh, Long Island, too. She's from the same area I am. Um, you guys are so funny. Cat time, baby, let's go. Oh, God. Uh, whose sheep did you shave? I am a sheep shipper. Uh, okay, shout out to J Dubs 27, one of my favorite numbers. Uh, shout out to J Dubs 27. Uh, I guess pound you. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you for the uh, fist emoji. Uh, <laughs> thank you for being a part of the Candle Mafia. Go ahead and get in that free Discord. Head over to the giveaway section and get your free Ada. Let's go. Shout out to you, man. Next winner. Oh, now we got a curious woman filing her crypto tag. Look how happy she is. Look how happy she's like, I love taxes. Take my money. She's crying. She's like, if that face doesn't say I'm crying on the inside, <laughs> please don't take my money. Uh, but she is happy. For using coin ledger because uh, at least they you know they still took her money but at least it wasn't a hard and annoying it was easy uh, <laughs> uh all right let's go ahead and continue on um oh kenny's in alabama now that's funny kind of not too far away from where i am now uh all right let's go ahead and continue on uh what is this winner number nine come on zach eight, eight? i think i already did eight. Oh, well, whatever you say. oh god mrs candle mrs candles are you slacking on the job Oh, we got him right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we already did ten. No way. Mrs. Candles, you were two behind, Mrs. Candles. Well, we had no. Yeah, we had That's it. Well, off, off for life. Shout out, shout out to off for life. We're gonna have to honor it for you. What? The first one was a bot. Oh, she's right. I'm wrong. Hey, 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 find find you a boyfriend that will admit when he's wrong, yes? The first two were bots, I think. Yeah, the first two were bots, you're right. Sweet, so are we on eight? I think I'm right. Okay, yeah, Mrs. Candles is right. <sighs> Once again. All right, here we go. I have six wake ups in a row. Okay, so how, what are we at now? This is... Uh, All right, all for life. You, uh, We don't have to grandfather you in because you actually won. You're number nine. Let's go. Uh, shout out to Tyler Durden. Let's go. Uh, if my mom and Frankie went to school, smallest world ever. Uh, uh, Grimothy, hold up. Grimothy, where are you from? And uh, yeah, I don't think I, oh, God, man, do I look that old? I don't, if you're old enough to be understanding what we're talking about in crypto, I would hope. I, I don't think I'm, old, I'm not old enough to know you. I, you never know. You never know. Uh, Grimothy, let me know where your mom is from or how old your mom is. How old do you think I am? Uh, maybe I don't want to know the answer to that question. Um, but shout out to Offer Life. You are winner number nine. Thank you for being here. She says, it's Uncle Candles. And uh, that sounds weird because I am actually an uncle now. Shout out to Offer Life. Thank you for being here. Get into that free Discord to claim your free ADA. Go to the giveaway section. It'll happen. Hey, there we go. Shout out to Offer Life in the chat. Let's go. Uh, let's get it. Uh, all right, next winner. Let's go. Shout out to Offer Life. Okay, there we go. Mrs. Candle said it's the last one. And look at this. She's just like looking at her phone like, I need, I need coin ledger because what is going on with these taxes? That's kind of what, it's funny. I don't, I, these people crack me up for some reason. Anyway, next winner. Let's get it. Come on, Zach. Last try, Zach. Let's go. Crypto Billy, let's go. <laughs> Shout out to Crypto Billy. Uh, love you, Frankie. Crypto Billy, I love you back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick another winner, uh, but we're going to send Billy the Ada anyway. Uh, shout out to Crypto Billy. You deserve it. Uh, it's like I feel stupid giving you like the small amount of Ada that we give away, uh, but 
Uh, we got to give it to you, right? Shout out to you, bro. Thank you for being here, man. Thank you for all you do. Uh, it's so funny. It's like, hey, look, that's my friend. <laughs> Shout out to Crypto Billy. We love you, bro. Uh, all right, next winner. Here we go. Well, this guy's trying to figure his taxes out. This guy's real confused. Last one. Here we go. Let's get it. Grandpa Candles. Let's go. Uh, King Carlito said 3K for show. Is that a dancing emoji? I think it's a ooh, 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 staying alive. Let's go. Sh shout out to King Carlito 007. Thank you for being here, bro. Thank you for the 3K for show comment. Thank you for watching the content. Get in that free Discord. Uh, and not to scoop up the just the free sauce, but uh, go in there to get your free ADA. Shout out to King Carlito. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. I really mean that. Um, all right, guys. I think that is all the time we got for today's show. And I am uh, just scouring the chat trying to find Grimothy's comment uh, where he's saying, aren't you uh, like 70, bro? Um, <laughs> Safe Moon Army in the chat. Let's go. Uh, ah, maybe Grimothy left. I don't see an answer. Dang. I wonder... Uh, it would be funny if his if I did know his mom, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just feel younger than I actually am. Maybe I'm a teacher? Oh, maybe that's what he thought. Maybe. Ooh, interesting. Grimothy's mom was Frankie's teacher. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Do we know that? Grimothy, come back. Come back. That would be the smallest world ever. Somebody... Oh, dang. I wish I knew the name. That'd be crazy. Well, anyway, guys, with all that being said, I think that's all the time we got for tonight. But, guys, real quick, real quick, I got to check. I got to check the Hit Network Gaming subs because uh, let's go ahead and see where uh, – Yeah, let's go ahead and see where uh, Hit Network Gaming – let's see where his subs are at. Let's see. 793. How many people do we have in here? How many people do we have in here? Guys, I don't like asking for stuff. I like doing stuff for people, right? But, excuse me, 793 subscribers. If half, if half of you guys go subscribe to Hit Network Gaming, we can run them up to 1,000 subs. Let me see if I have access. I think I might have a manager role in his, uh, in his channel so we could pull up the live feed. Because if we could pull up his live feed and run those, uh, and run those, what do you call, what are they called? Uh, run those, uh, oh, baby, there it is. Let's go. Uh, I just want to make sure we're, we're sharing it, guys. Here we go. Let's get on, let's live, live. We'll do it live. Let's go. Um, okay. Let's go ahead. Let me pull up the live sub counter, and let's get Joel to a thousand likes right now. Uh, okay, where are we going? Where do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, live, live count. Here we go, guys. Please, please, let's get him there. Let's get him there. Let's go to the last seven days. Okay, what is this? What's today? March twenty third. Okay, okay, all right. He's got, wow, he almost got 100. Oh, there we go, 795. Everybody, click the link, pin to the top of the chat, and go sub. Let's shoot this number through the roof. We have 450 people in here. I know it's like so easy to be like, ah, other people will do it. But if you just take the time to do this right now, we can see this number fly up. Let's go. Sub, sub, sub. I see it. I see it. I think it does go in waves. Guys, we can easily, easily get this up half. We only need half, half of the people to sub to this channel to get them to 1,000. In. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to Crypto Billy. I uh, um, hit network. Yes, Mrs. Candles. Um, uh, well, I can't tell. Oh, wait. Am I subbed? Oh, my God. I'm going to feel so bad if I'm not subbed. Link doesn't work. 798. Come on, guys. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, come on. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'll do it. Hit Actually, we could kind of see how quickly hit network gaming. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, seven. He's almost at 800. Oh, I am subscribed. I'm actually curious. I'm going to unsubscribe for a second. Oh, Mrs. Candles just subscribed. Yeah, I think it does it in waves. So I don't think it actually just shows you. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. 802, baby. 802, baby. Sub to this channel, guys. I think we could do it. Oh, Mrs. Candles said maybe we need a little music. Hey, let's pump it up. Let's pump it up. Let's go. Sub to the channel, guys. Let's get it. We love Joel. Put it back in the chat. Oh, okay. I got you. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I got you. I got you. 
Hit Network Gaming. Bada boom, bada bing. There you go. There's the, there it is. Go sub fam, let's go. He's at 805, baby. We can do it. We literally only need half the people. We have 397. Hopefully that's people clicking the link. This number should go down. The 39, okay, it's coming in, baby. It's coming in, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, this is fun. This is fun. Oh, now we got a consistent drip. We got a consistent drip, baby. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Oh, yeah, we're playing the music. We're getting it going right now. Let's get it. Hey, super smooth. Let's go. Just keep it constant drip. Joel, somebody call Joel. Let's go. The mafia is coming through for you, bro. Let's get it. Huh? Oh, oh, hey. Mrs. Candles says, thanks, Bubba's Crypto, for the plus one Mrs. Candles. Let's go. She only subscribed to be number 800, but I beat her to it. You were 801, Mrs. Candles. Let's go. Look at this consistent drip. Mafia coming through. Let's get it. Was that a chart that just popped up right there? That was weird. Let's go. You get a sub. You get a sub. Let's get it. Subbed on a few accounts. Metabyte's pulling through. Let's get it. Those emojis exclusive or something? Let's go. Shout out to Crypto Coach. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. We still have 400 people in here. If everybody just goes subs right now, this we could shoot this up to 1,000, and that's it. We got it. And if he gets 1,000, guys, by the end of the stream, we're giving away free premium discord memberships and we might even mem uh, make it rain regular memberships so everybody can have those custom emojis uh frankie you should buy mrs candles a pearl necklace this weekend oh mrs candles thought that was funny <laughs> really did wow oh baby 8 30 let's go we gotta at least get them 100 subs before we get off the live let's go long on subs Let's go. Make it moon, boys. Let's go. This is clean. Hey. Yo, shout out to most. Shout, shout out to, like, everybody in here. A lot of people subbed. Let's go. You guys are awesome. This is why the Candle Mafia is undefeated. Let's go. We can run this up. We still got 391 people in here. Uh, this should be at at least 900 and something if everybody subbed. And I feel like if we hang out here long enough, everybody's going to sub because if you stay here to watch the stream, we're literally just watching. Oh, look at that. Let's go. Bing bong. Let's go. We're loading up the money cannon. Mrs. Candles is worried about your hearing. Frankie Candles, you're going to blow out their eardrums. Let's go. What would I, what kind of, what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't make open mouth thumbnails? and scream into the microphone when we get our friends subs. Let's go, baby. Get it to 850. Oh, I just dumped that money on the floor. Let's go. 840. Love the love. Let's get it. It might uh yeah, yeah, see now. Now we're so I'll say this. I'm gonna stick around until everybody's gone. The stream is over. I'm gonna chill. But everybody leave, the stream's over, but leave via the Hit Network Gaming link. So you can't leave the stream by clicking out of the stream. You have to click and leave through that link and just drop a sub uh, for our boy Joel. Let's get it. I'm putting the link in the chat so everybody can click it. Let's go. And do a little bing bong. Let's get it. Hey, multi-sig dummy, what is going on, bro? What is good? I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. Uh, we're trying to get Joel from Hit Network Gaming to 1,000 subs. I think we could do it. We got 382 people in here. If literally half of you guys go sub to this channel, we can get them to 1,000. Um, and then we'll be able to rate them, and it will be lit. Uh, so let's go. And if we get to 1,000 likes, we're going to be giving away free premium Discord uh, memberships and maybe even some Frankie Candles uh, YouTube memberships. We'll just make it rain. We'll just send Tony. Uh, oh, hold up, hold up. Who is this? Tyler oh, Crypto Gideon. Gideon, okay. Yeah, 50 Frankie, and shout out to Crypto Gideon for uh, giving away those 50 Frankie Candles subs uh, or, or memberships. Uh, absolutely savage, bro. We do appreciate you. What? How are you supposed to say it? Gideon, not Gideon. Not like Giddy up. Let's go 855, baby, we got it. Let's go. Shanksky's in the Candle Mafia now. Let's go. Bullish on subs. 
150 to go, guys. We're so close. Let's get it. Let's go. I, there's still 385 people in here. Okay. Yeah, how can we do... Well, no, because then they're going to stay here if I do TA. At 900 subs, if we get 900 subs... If we get 900 subs, I'll, I'll pick another winner from the same video, and I'll give away a hat. Let's go. 900 subs, we give away a sat, but it's got to happen by 8.04. If we get 900 subs by 8.04, I'll pick a winner to give away a hat to right now. Let's go. Let's go. Bing bong. Shout out to Crypto Coach K says Mafia. What is going on, bro? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Are you subbed to the Hit Network Gaming channel? Should I run around a Halo? Should I should I pull some 360 no scopes right now to get more subs? Let's go. Frank, did you end up watching the John Jones fight live? Uh, Walking Dead, I did not, unfortunately. Um, we tried to, uh, but no no place has had it. Uh, stuck at 857, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Let's go. Make it a whole new YouTube. Let's go. Let's go. It's stalled. It's stalled. I hope this... Are people still subbing? Are people still subbing? Let me sub... I'm subbing on my other account. I'm subbing on my alt account. Oh, hey. 859. What was it at before? Oh, okay. We could do this, guys. We can... We can... I know we can get this up to 1,000 likes easily. Uh, I'm going to sub... Uh, what did I say? Likes? All right. Here we go. Hit Network Gaming. Here we go. Oh, I am already. See, I'm a good friend. I'm already subscribed. I unsubbed. Now I want to sub again to see if it goes up. Sub. Okay. So uh, more people may have subbed than I thought because it's definitely not instant. I think what YouTube does is it batches it. Like every time you get five, then it slowly trickles in. Um, do the link again, Frankie. Let's go. Good point. Good point. Let's go. Let's go. Someone gave the sub button pink eye. Shout out to Crypto Billy said we get 900 subs by 804. I will throw a limited edition FCU logo jersey. Shout out to Crypto Billy. Shout out to Crypto Billy. Let's go. And I will give away a hat. Let's go. Hey. It's 8.01. We got three more minutes to run this up to 900. And I will give uh, subbed, are you? I am. Bobby Chulo. Let's go, bro. Hand to the elbow. Let's go. 36 more for the giveaway. Let's go. We'll give a hat and a custom FCU logo jersey. Shout out to Crypto Billy. Uh, Billy's a savage, man. Let's go. Wait till you guys hear what we were talking about earlier today with uh, Crypto Billy. That is, uh, thank you, Brian Peterson, for subbing. Appreciate you. Um, you got, I don't even do this for my channel. I'm not like, please subscribe to my channel, but sub subscribe to my friend's channel. Let's go. Be patient. It'll happen quickly. Let's go. Shout out to Crypto Maniac said, don't use BitTrue. They stole 75 outfit from me. Okay, wow. Interesting. Uh, I don't usually use uh, uh, BitTrue, but uh, now I know. Let's go. You get one. You get one. 875, baby. We're so close. Don't forget to go subscribe to Hit Network Gaming. Let's go. 25 sub left. We got one more minute. Well, one and change. One minute and change. Let's go. Oh, we're so close. Go smash that sub button, guys. Let's go. Oh, 875. So close. We got two more minutes or one more minute. Let's go. Just spammed it in Discord. Let's go. Crypto Anon. Let's get it. It lags sometimes. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. I will say this. Uh, I knew having 10 YouTube accounts would come in handy. Shout out to BW Snagwood. Oh, baby. Come on. We still have time. We still have time for the giveaway. Oh, God. I wish I had 100 accounts. Oh, there we go. 880. Guys, we're so close. Let's get it. Lego. Hey, blockchain brawler. Let's go. Where is uh, Mrs. Candles doesn't want me to dance. 880 left. Let's go. Oh, somebody unsubbed. Oh, my God. Hold the ship. Bat down the hatches, boys. Oh, back to 880. Okay, we got one more minute. One more minute for the giveaway. We still got 350 in here. If everybody is subbed, 
Okay, there we go. Now it's cooking. Now it's cooking. Let's go. Oh, let's go. The Discord. The Discord starting to catch on. Let's get it. That's okay. We got more. So close to 900. Let's go. We got one more minute. I don't know if we're going to get the giveaway. Come on. It's so close. I'll say this. If we don't hit 900. Oh, my God. It's so close. 805. 805. Just because it lags, we'll give it till 805. If we don't hit 900 by 805, please still go sub. If he gets to 1,000 subscribers by... If he gets to 1,000 subscribers by the time I get to his live stream tonight, then I will uh, do a giveaway. I'll give away a hat and a free uh, premium membership. Let's go. And a hug. I'll give you a hug. Okay, that should do the trick. Let's go. Ten more to go. So close. We still have one more minute. Let's go. There's the link. It's so easy. Just click it. Just click it right there. Hit the sub button. Let's go. So close. 805. Was that the Frankie unsub resub? Maybe. Maybe. Which means it is pretty uh pretty delayed. Let's go. So close. Come on, Mafia. Let's go. 892. Let's go. Let's go. And by 805, I mean if it hits uh by the time it hits 806, that's when 805 is over. So no, when the clock hits 806, oh we got another unsub. Just subbed it. Frankie C, let's go. Shout out to Creators Crypto. All right. Either way, if we get 900 by 806, I will give away that hat. And then 1,000 subs by the time I get to his stream tonight, I will give away the free membership to the premium Discord. Free month to the premium Discord. Freemium. Uh, and then... Uh, we'll also uh, give away some, uh, we'll make it rain memberships uh, next week at some point as well. We're so close, baby. We have one more minute. Let's go. Spam that link one more time. Let's go. Oh, no, an unsub. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so close. It's so close. 893. Who's slacking? We still got 340 people in here. I can't imagine. I imagine that probably a majority of the people watching here are like, Already clicked the sub button and we're just waiting for it to go up. Oh, it's 806. Didn't hit 900. We got so, so close. Shout out to Tiger Lab says, Thank you, Frankie, for your teaching. Uh, no problem, bro. I do it for the Candle Mafia and I do it because I love you guys. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, uh, that is all the time I got for tonight's live stream. Uh, we got 892. That's pretty dang good. We got them like 100 subs. Uh, but guys, if you when you do leave the live stream, uh, please exit via that link in the description, uh, link in the chat, uh, and just go hit that sub button. Again, if we get 1,000 subs, by the time I get on his live stream, in about 20 minutes, maybe a half hour, we will do that crazy giveaway. 895, it's creeping up. Uh, but guys, with all that being said, that's all the time I got for tonight. I appreciate every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. I don't just say that. I truly mean it. You guys are this YouTube channel. I'm just a crazy guy that screams on the camera. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, that's all the time I got for tonight. I'll see you guys on Monday. Or no, I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes on the Hit Network Gaming Channel. And if you don't know what that is, just go ahead and uh, bear with me. Just go ahead and uh, click that link that I just put in the chat and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll be able to meet me over there. Hopefully, we're going to play some Fortnite. If you guys want to watch me get wrecked on Fortnite, click that link. Sub to the channel. Not my channel. Well, sub to my channel too, but sub to Hit Network Gaming and I'll see you guys tomorrow or Monday. Same place, same time, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'll also see you guys in 30 minutes. That's all I got. 898, almost 899. Come on. Frankie Candles out. Bing bong. Tyler Ramos.
Oh, hey, it's me, Frankie Candles. And look at that, guys. We got 901 subs. Again, shout out to Crypto420. Welcome to the Hitman. Uh, but yeah, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for at least getting them to 900. But again, we got 300 people in here. We only need a third of you guys to exit, not through the gift shop, uh, but exit through that link that I just put in chat and go sub to his channel. If we get 100 more people to sub, we will give away some free premium memberships or free months to the premium member uh, premium Discord, my premium Discord. Uh, and it's going to be a good time. I'll see you guys on Monday, same place, same time, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and in about a half hour on Hit Network Gaming. I'll see you guys there. Thank you for all the support, guys, and thank you for helping out our friend Joel. It really means a lot. I hate asking for stuff, but you guys really showed out and got him 100 subs in like five minutes. I really appreciate you guys. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys on Monday, same place, same time. 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love each and every single one of you. That's all I got. Frankie Candles out. Bing bong. Thank you.